cannot see any domes or whatever. It is a public primary. It was a home for orphans in the past, but things changed and it became public, but the name never changed. So that's how things are. And uh, don't worry, the issue of peace here in Daraka, we have no problem. The concern group are very much working. So even if you move around here, nobody can ask you or you'll be robbed uh, or be mugged. So Mwenzangu, that's how we are. Mwenzangu, uh, ukitazama upande wile basi unaona yule mgeni wetu wa heshima ambayo nilikuwa nimeambia ninyi atakapo wasili inatubidi tusimame sote kwa, hezim, uh, kwa heshima zake. Tusimame tafadhali. Ndiyo huyo sasa amewasili. Mwili umefika, ndi watu naambiwa kwa lugha zingine tafadhali kila mtu asimame kwa heshima. Bas hivyo huyo ndiye daktari ndiye ameletwa. Na naomba hapo katika gate tafadhali kuna wageni wengine ambao hawachi kuachiwa hapo. Kubalini magari yaingie ndani, yalete wageni, kisha wageni watakapoingia bas magari yatarudi. Please. Kuna wageni ambao hawezi kutembea miguu kutoka huko paka hapa. Eh, tuendelee ni kusimama na maisha. Okay, asante sana, asante sana. Eh, wale wanaohusika na kutoa mwili kwa gari tafadhali tunaomba kwa heshima zote wawe karibu. Lakini ndio litafanyika baada la kuseti baada ya kuseti pale mwili utawekwa ili tuanzie sherehe zetu. Oh, eh mnaweza kuketi tafadhalini. Yo yo keti. Oh, mnaweza kuketi. Okay, asante kwa acha wa seti hii area. Alafu nitauliza pasta haje. A bless mimi ukitolewa kwa gali ili usetiwe pale tunakuwa na function tafadhali. Maombi tu mwili ukitoka kwa gali alafu tunaendelea. Maombi tu mwili ukitolewa kwa gali lazima ama ni vizuri kuwe na maombi. Na wale wanaohusika na kuseti mwili kwa hapo kwa carpet tafadhali. Together be around with the masks on and the gloves on so that we start. Uh, Awa hon manu chandaria Awa hon manu chandaria Hamefika Bwana Matanka mewasili Karibu sana Bwana Matanka We are proud of you okay. Karibu sana Bwana Chair From Nairobi Asante sana Karibu karibu The family members are saying up there Karibu Bwana Matanka Who was the chair in Nairobi Ndiyo likuwa na wanakamati huko. Mpaka kukawona hii sherai imekua vile ilivyo. Imejulisho ya kwamba mwili kwanza tolewe kwa gali, alafu kisetiwa pale, ndiyo pasta atausika atafadhali. So those who are concerned, please. Ok, asan sana, kuna Ivan Simose, Cosima Simose, Henry Mose, Dr. Geoffrey Motio, Dr. Peter Ukilu, Edwin Utudo, Brownie Hairalia, and Rafael Omori. Those are the ones concerned with the body, please. Can you come forward and assist where necessary so that we don't waste much time, please. Our watu mesoma ndi watatua mwili kwa gali na na waomba kwa eshi mazote tafadhali waje ili tuweze kwanzia sherezetu bila kupatesa wakati. These are Evans Muse, please come around, Cosmos Muse, Henry Mose, Dr. Geoffrey Mutio, Dr. Peter Ukilu, Edwin Utudo, Brownie Kailaria, and Rafael Moli. Please, come for the service. Iyo ya kutuwa mwiri kwa gali, tuiset. Pari natakiwa hiwe. Ili, tuwazia shedeset tafadhali. Please. Asante, asante mwenzangu. Wageni wetu ambao mmetoka Nairobi, 
mkimsindikisha daktari e, mkija hivi vitu ambavyo vina white upande huu I meant for you tafadhalini kwa hivyo mnaweza kuja mkaketi na sisi upande huu Our friends from Nairobi this is your area na kama wewe ni mmoja wa familia upande wa juu tafadhali Our friends brothers and sisters from Nairobi this is area Our friends, brothers and sisters from Nairobi, this is the area. And the family members, please, if you are a family member, go the upper side, please. Na kalibuni sana Dharaka Nidhi County. Dharaka South Sub-County. Mwenzangu inaunekana kwamba programs zimeletwa. So, ningeomba kwanza mpelekea wageni wetu our, our guests uh, along that side okay my friend if with the program or the booklet please let us give those who are up there first those who are the VIPs are the family give a few those who are there so that our guests okay. can have the program please my, my colleague uh, the Paul Bialaz have arrived Can you read them once again? Okay, asante sana. Wale ambao watahusika kutoa mwili kwa gali ni Evans Muse, Cosmas Muse, Henry Muse, Daktari Geoffrey Mutio, Daktari Peter Ukilu, eh, Edwin Otudo, Brown Kairalia and Rafael Muli. Please tafadhali kama wewe nimesoma jina lako kuja karibu na gali ili tuweze kutoa jeneza kwa gali tafadhali. So that we start our function. We shall pray after it is out and set. Uh, wakili Kairadia karibu sana nimekuona nimefika hapa wakili Kairadia And in the case you have a problem of sanitizer please consult the MC we have one here for we have to take the necessary security ya health kabisa tafadhali Watu wa Nairobi kutoka hapa kuteremka kote huku ni kwenu Watu wa kutoka upande wa matakiri nkondi huko ni sehemu ile na kule juu ni family na VIPs tafadhali and make sure you keep social distance even if you have a brother you don't know where he has slept where he has come from please let us observe covid-19 protocols please okay asante sana mwenzangu naona wamekuja nitawauliza tu kwa set mwili kulingana na vile atakuwa directed alafu tuanzie tafadhali We decided to come on because of space. I let me repeat. After we are through with the function, we shall proceed home. Uh, those who are to proceed home are the clergy, amagwatu wa kanisa, immediate family members, uh, VIPs, and the MCs to program there. So we shall not go there. Those who go there are only those who are supposed to. Wageni wetu kwa heshima ya mwenzetu mwenda zake wakati ambapo daktari atakuwa akitolewa katika gari akiwekwa pale mahali pake tafadhali naomba tena tusimame wakati huo lakini nitaambia ninyi nilini kwa heshima zake Okay asante it's better that we inform what is happening we cannot get the coffin out of the vehicle because the key has not arrived What I mean by the word key is that the daughter to the father has not arrived and she must be among those who are getting the coffin out of the vehicle so that she can witness the removal of the coffin from the vehicle and see everything because it's not good when the immediate person is not aware of what is happening around himself or herself. So let's wait for Madam Kagwera, daughter to our daktari, Haje, ameachwa kidogo kwa gari lake na kifika ndio tatoa hilo jeneza kwa gari tafadhali so don't ask why are we studying doing nothing we are not doing nothing we are waiting thanks uh, na ni kweli ni ni kweli lazima awe hapo kama sasa ndio umewasili na kufahamisha kwamba 
hivyo uh, vitu unaona upande huo huo ambao unanyoshea kidole ni watu hapa ndio wataketi na wakutoka ngodi na matakiri uh, kisha vile ambavyo viko upande ule mwingine ni via the most immediate family upande ule mwingine pale ni our VIPs alafu upande huu tulio huku tuliko sasa huku ndiko wageni wa kutoka Nairobi, Mombasa, Kakamega kila mahali wataketi e, karibu sana nimekuona <laughs> Uh. Bwana mwalimu tafadhali kuja karibu niliko niko na ujumbe wako nataka kuambia kidogo for you are the contact person from the family Let's wait for the daughter Mite she arrives, we shall start. Please. Ukiona sisi si wengi hapa ujue e, ni vile siku hizi hatuwezi kukubaliwa kuwa watu wengi e, wengine wakija wanaambiwa warudi and we understand the reasons kwa hivyo wageni wetu msije mkauliza ala mtu mkubwa kama huyu itakuwaaje watu ni wachache waliokufika hapa ni maelfu lakini hawezi kukubaliwa wote kuingia kwa sababu ya zile itifaki za mnazielewa zile itifaki za serikali za kielo siku hizi We are waiting for the lady Okay, I do understand that they had a problem with the car they were using, but it's okay, they're on the way coming. So please, let's wait for them. Well, you can't break it down.
Miss Amoremi, please. We shall do consultation all the time, please. Uh, wageni wetu nataka kuhakishia ni kwamba hatutachelewesha ninyi kwa sababu tunajua ni wengi wenu mwaenda mbali na mkienda Nairobi kuna wengine watapita Nairobi so we are going to do this exercise within a very short time we shall be through kwa hivyo tafadhalini just bear with us only that uh, the doctor has not arrived but I, we understand she is just about here unaona hii barabara hii rough road hii sasa hapo she is within here any time she is getting in na mara atakapoingia hata hata keti tutamuita hapa tuanze DJ Okay tafadhali tafadhali kuna mtu mmoja ameacha gari lake likiwa na hazard tafadhali aende azime hii inaweza kula battery pale karibu na red car tafadhali you have left your car horn na inaweza kula battery kabisa ukijaribu kustart ukianza safari iwe issue so please advise the owner to put it off asante uh, karibuni sana wageni wetu uh, karibuni ukija tafuta kiti uketi uh, our visitors from Nairobi please join upande huu come over this side uh, BTBN vimepanga upande huu na wageni naomba radhi kwa sababu mahali hapa kwetu huwa na huwa joto kidogo so that it uh, we tumezoea sisi lakini tunajua kidogo kwenu is a challenge but that is why our fruits are very sweet. Ukila tunda kutoka mahali hapa utasema uongezewe kwa sababu yanakuwa matamu sana. Na huo utamu unatokana na jua hili. Kwa hivyo jua wakati mwingine si baya mno. By the time you're getting from this place ask for some fruits uh, you get them there and I'm sure you will enjoy. Our daughter is just about to get in here in time from now. The exercise is going to begin. Uh, wageni wetu hii inaitwa Baraka Constituency. Zaraka constituency is comprised of two sub-counties and we are lucky 
our member of parliament is with us here. In fact, he was among the first people who arrived here this morning. And ni kawaida yake kila wakati when we have issues, he has to he stands with us. Eh, Honorable Getwanga Burugara is with us. Eh, vile vile amefika hapa Amanu Chandaria ambaye ni Matanka tunamuita hivyo kwa sababu he is our pride. Matanka ametuanzishia uh, a lot of industries around this place. So he's an industrial man. That's why you call him Manu Chandaria. Ametusaidia sana vile vile kwa kukuletea mimea ambayo tukiuza tunapata feather. Kwa hivyo bwana Matanka twakushukuru sana. Mheshimiwa Njiji Tuwa kushukuru tuwajua vilo na vyo sukuma gurudumu la maendeleo dharaka. Single handedly. Mungu atakubariki baba. We do understand that the children are not with us here. They are on the way coming. None of them is here. So we cannot start any function before the children arrive. So please forgive us for that. Uh, those who we are, we are only the parents. And the children have not yet arrived, and we cannot get that body out of the vehicle if the children have not arrived. So we have to be patient until they come. Bear with us, please. They are being consulted by their friends. I have said that they are on the way coming. They are almost near here. So let's wait for them, please. They had a mechanical breakdown of the machine. That's why they have delayed. So we cannot blame them. Tunajua kuna joto kali, kwa hivyo mnapewa maji mkua umeketi hapo. There are people coming around giving you some water. So when they come, just take a bottle to quench your, your thirst. Thank you. Na kwa na usika na maji tafadhali, let's serve the people. They are waiting. Mwape maji tafadhali. You just go around wakitoa tu mtu apate maji kwa na joto kali bwana Ndani kila mahali everybody to get lakini anzia kwa wageni hawa sisi wa dharaka tumezoea kidogo anzia hapa kisha upelekee wageni wetu wa heshimu upande wa juu Alafu sisi wengine baadaye kila mtu apate And in the case the bottle you get is not enough you can ask for another maji mingi
Dejai. Asante Dejai. Eh, tulikuwa tumesema kwamba hizi tents, the first tents hizo tafadhali ni tulikuwa tumezipaika pale ndo wageni wa kutoka mbali au VIPs waketi. So if you don't fall under that category please those ones who are reserved for our VIPs alafu upande huu unanyoshea kidole reserved for the Dharaka Road and uh, others from Kondi and Matakiri upande huu mwingine tuliko huku tunakozungumzia ni wale wageni kutoka Nairobi kwa hivyo tafadhali uh, if you don't fall under that category unaweza tu kidogo ukatoka manake there are so many chairs around ndio wageni wetu watakapofika wasikose mahali pa kuketi unajua sisi tu wenyeji eh, wenyeji hawana shida wanaweza kuketi anywhere lakini wageni hawana budi kuketi mahali ambapo eh, wamepangiwa tafadhali Okay okay I'm being told that wamefika hapa tu kwa shopping center hii kwa hapa they are being directed because they are not used to the area so wameombea waje mpaka Materi Gauss gate wataona entry wataona entry point mimi big within 2 to 3 minutes we have arrived and we shall start Naona kama ndio hao wanaingia wala tulikuwa tunaongojea wamekuja ndio hao lakini wajua lazima wasimame pale wapime temperature na kwa sanitize ili wakubaliwe kuingia Wana motiri you can allow the children in that black car to come forward. Kwa sababu ndio tunaongojea huku. The hasha. You can allow them to come forward. They are the ones we are waiting.
Uh, you just come as you are being directed. Hawa ndiyo watoto wake wamefika. Tunataka. Wawe pale mwiri wa baba ukitolewa kwa gari. Okay, mite the children are ready. Wale vijana wangu nilikuwa nao wakusaidia kutoa jeneza kwa gari. Wanaweza kuja? Tafadhali. Watoto kama wamefika wanaweza kuja karibu hapa. Na wale vijana tulikuwa nao hapa mbeleni, wale walikuwa hapa. Wale walikuwa wakutoa gari kwa gali, eh, jeneza kwa gari tafadhali. Why Kalibu Hapa? And Mr. Molemi, you have to guide the parents, two of them to come, so that they be with their grandchildren. Wana Molemi to guide the Wale Wazazi, Mr. Usena Mam, Waje, Wangane na their grandchildren. Idi, Tutuwe jeneza kwa gari. Tuwanza shere zetu. Yes, we know it is a hard time, but we have no otherwise just get them. After we are through with that, dia wataenda kuketi. Watoto mtapitia hapa, msimame kando kidogo. Tutuwe jeneza kwa gari, arafu mtataenda kuketi. Be near your grady parents. Mwe pa umoja na grady parents. And uh, there must be people around to hold them in the case of anything you assist, please. Eh. kama tulivyosema kwamba tusimame sasa tusimame. kwa heshima ya daktari tafadhalini eh, pasta tikova kote tuweze kusimama kwa heshima ya familia wakati huu wa majonzi na tunapoanza ibada ya leo Asante ni sana Paul Bearers. Na ngependa kusema asante kwa kuwa tulivu. Na wawia radhi kwa wale ambao mlifika mapema. Asante ni sana. Wakati huu tutaanza uh, kwa maombi. Ili tuweze kukabidhi ibada ya leo. Mbele zake mungu. Tupate kuomba mahali tulipo. Father, we are grateful for bringing us safely into this gathering and into this place this day as we come, Lord, to stand with the family, as we come to identify with them in this time and season of mourning. Your word tells us that you are the God of all comfort. Father, we pray, may we experience your comfort, O God, upon the children upon the siblings, upon the parents, 
upon every single person who has come, the friends, and even, Lord, the community at large. Lord, may your comfort be our portion as we begin this session, O oh God. We pray that from the very beginning and up to the end, may all the glory and honor return to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ngependa kuomba familia wapate kuka na wataka poka basi sote tutaketi. So kindly, we can follow this direction. Na tumaini kuna wale ambao watasaidia kuonesha ni wapi wataweza kuketi ili sote tuketi. Na tunapofanya hiyo tuna mmoja wetu ambaye anaitwa uh, Janet Janet tuna hudumu pamoja katika kanisa la Christ is the answer ministries sitam na atatuongoza uh, kwa wimbo moja alafu baada ya hiyo tutaweza kuelekea na na, na program Hakika Bwana ni mwema kwa wakati wote ni mwema even kwa wakati wa machozi na tukaimba Bwana um, pamoja na wewe Bwana yu sehemu yetu iko kwenye program yako uh, unaweza angalia tunapoanza Bwana u sehemu yangu Rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe Katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe mali hapa sikutaka ili ni heshimiwe na yani kutema shaka Sawa sawa na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe herini kutema shaka sawa sawa na wewe ni ongoze safari ni mbele unichukue mlango ni mabinguni niingie na wewe pamo na wewe Pamoja na wewe mlango ni mwabinguni ningi ye na wewe Okay, asante sana, ma'am, for the song that has brought us together. Now we start our program, and we are going to photos. Tunaenda kwa picha, na tafai na uliza cameraman, wae karibu wa jiset, ili nikita wana usika, tusipoteza wakati. Na kwanza tunataka watoto wake tafadhali. Watoto, wandaktali. Guide them, please. To save time, please. Kwa toto wake, ndio tunataka kuchukua photos. Tafadhali, why guide to the arena 
ama hapa kwa hali papicha uh, mwenzangu our deputy governor honorable kagwema has arrived karibu sana dg chetu pande huo sasa ni wakati wa picha Wana, wanaochukuliwa picha pale sasa ni watoto wake watoto wa daktari Okay tafadhali kwa upande wa picha tunachukua anga namna hii mkichukua mkao wa tatu tuchukulie moja ya san na nyingine ya daughters ziwe tatu zote san akiwa peke yake daughters wakiwa peke yao alafu mkiwa pamoja Eh. Chukua daughters. Umechukua san. Ah, uh, mheshimiwa mbunge wetu wa county, mbunge wa county au mama wa county amewasili karibu sana madam. Uh, honorable Nkadha. Karibu sana, atumashukuru kwa kufika kwako. Asana sana mama county. Ok. Ah. Ok, can we have the parents? Parents, mose na mami. Kwa fuatia tafadhali. Na watoto na kuomba kwa heshima msiende mbali nataka mamu na baba wakichukuliwa alafu mchukue mkiwa pamoja nyote. Eh. Tafadhali msiende mbali watoto. Kaeni kada tu susua chukuliwe akichukuliwa alafu nanyi mnaungana na wao mnachukua foto ya pili. Eh. Okay sawa. Okay. After that you join the you join your grand parent. Sawa. Aya, watoto wa join. Okay, watoto wa join ili watoto waenda kwa kaketi. Uh, you join your grandparents for the photo. Okay, Asante. Iri yu mzea sirudi hapo tena nataka baba aite brothers na sister siwake na maamina yetu brothers and sisters wake. Eh. Watoto wanaweza kwenda kuketi for their through. Mose, call your brothers and sisters. Mama asimame kado kidogo na alafu ukimaliza naye wachukuliwa alafu nyote pamoja. Aliwagina na aragina ba Mose. Tafadhali to save time kama umeitwa tafadhali let us try to save time brothers and sisters bambu se Kwani mami ameenda Mama hataki kuenda eh Okay, Asante.
inkwenda maamina babi bari kia baba na kuma gutukenda ana ba na ara mwekuru wa daktari ya umite tafadhali mwekuru wa daktari na ara umite itu kwenda baya e, e. Achia liba mweko wanda kitari mweko wanda badi ingata. I think I want to have the in-laws. In-laws. In-laws are where mom, wife to ndaktari ametoka. Kule bibi yake ndaktari ametoka ndo nataka waje. Na wanda mane na watoto hao wa Tafadhali, tafadhali. Na watoto wawe hapa. Kule mami, wife to daktari ametoka, watu wakule, na wandamaya na watoto. Wange, hivizuri wawe wanaona picha ya watoto. Oke, okay. mwenye kuru wa ndaktari na arau mbeta tafadhali, nwa nkwa endaya na ndigu wa shiari ba keba leo wanaboba anda mane nwe tafadhali. Wazazi wake wanda mane na ye, sorry, I'm using the local language. <laughs> Mtani same. In-laws, please. Where the wife of ndaktari has come from, it is your time. And let the children accompany you. And I do understand the mother to the wife is also around. Bibi yake Jeff mama yake hako. What are we and my nine? She's the one, eh? Okay, Asante. Our ni wale kule mama metoka. Wife to Daktali. Niko metoka. Na waki maza kuchukuliwa. So so. So so atwa chukula na watoto. Yani the grandmother. After you are through, the grandparents will be left to the children at Chukuliwe. Make, bibi yake Jeff, hacho na susu wake. Those are in-laws. Wakimalizia kama wana wajua, unajua we ni anko, wabibi yake Jeff. Uje please. Anko na anti. Hapa nimesema suso aachwe na watoto wachukulue mwadhuru. Mukienda suso aachwe na watoto wachukulue picha. Sio confusion please. After you are taken, suso aachwe na watoto. Are you through cameraman? Brothers and sisters, you are Bibiake Jeff, do I make one at Chukuliwa? Sawa. Anko wa bibi yake Jeff Mama kichukuliwa na wego ufuatie uh, Nataka kuwa kishia nini ya kwamba Kila category Everybody who matters is going to be taken a photo here today Kwa hivyo kama unajua you are you relate Kama wewe ni relative wa aina yoyote ile wa daktari 
we are going to call you here for a photo. Kwa hivyo usiwa na wasiwasi. And in case of an error, please consult. So 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 acho na watoto. So 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 na watoto achukuliwe na anko ya bibi yake Jeff atachukuliwa pa baadaye. Please. So so grand parents wa bibi yake Jeff wakichukuliwa anko sinaye achukuliwe. Na tukitoka hapa anyanya, anyanya huku ni the body parents from the from the wife and the husband. Eh. Kujeni wazazi wa upande wa mama na wazazi upande wa baba, waje kama anko amechukuliwa. Anyanya, wajogu wakati mnaongea mambo ya watoto from the James side and from the madam's side please it's confused so so Jeff so so Jeff akimaliza anko kwa bibi yake Jeff na watoto ndani mkae kidogo ndio mnafuatia so so akichukuliwa anko ndio anachukuliwa kutoka hapo alafu wazazi waje Eh nataka tusa pigwa peke yake na watoto. You are through eh? Okay. So so abaki na watoto. So so peke. Arafu anko. Anko wa bibi yake Jeff amechukuliwa? Anko bibi yake Jeff, anko wa bibi yake Jeff na watoto peke. Anko wa Jeff amechukuliwa Anko wa bibi yake Jeff Anko wa bibi yake Jeff tafadhali na watoto wa Oh amechukuliwa eh Sasa tuja kwa sisters Sisters wa Jeff Sisters only wale walizaliwa nao Na brothers wa Jeff Sisters wa Jeff na brothers wa Jeff. Na wafuatwe na sisters wa Mandam na brothers wa Mandam. Please. Sisters wa Jeff na brothers wa Jeff. Sisters wa Mandam na brothers wa Mandam. Please. Tukitoka hapo Jeff alioa kanisani wala walikuwa sponsor wake wala walikuwa sponsor wa Jeff wakati wa marriage Na wakati Jeff alikuwa I had to understand that so so wa Jeff grandi mother wa Jeff ako Haya chukuliwe picha na wale walisimamia Jeff akioa please watoto wa Jeff naona tunawachosha sana kuwa hapa all through yeye ndiye soso wake Jeff na wale walisimamia Jeff akioa tafadhali you you are out na wale walisaidia Jeff wakati alikuwa anakuwa mtu mzima wakati alikuwa anatahili huku african ama meru huku tunatahili jura alisaidia yeye wakati huo aje kwa kidhaka tutamweta bamo bamo wa jefu aje tafadhali 
Ya dia susah ke Jeff? Okay. Tuja upande wa yule alimsaidia wakati alikuwa na kuwa handout bamo wa kia liku. Kuja kuja mzee. Siende. Wewe ni wa kanisa? We shall call you. <laughs> okay bado. Makase nsiwake. Brothers and sisters wa Jeff wa nje sasa. Makasin. Brothers and sisters Makasin. Hiyo ndio lugha ya Kiingereza. Makasi ni wake. Tungeza na wale wa mamu. Makasi ni wa Jeff na makasi ni wa mamu. Wengine wanaweza kuchukua foto mbili. The camera man will recognize you better. Okay asante sana nasikia mzee aliyekuwa anakuja ni yule ni yule alikuwa amemsimamia wakati wa marriage Tukimaliza na makasins ndio unakuja Eh kwa organize haraka wakichukua wa in groups Tumaliza please Once you are through Baba wa kanisa na baba wakati wa kuwa mtu mzima kama wako hapa au akimaliza waingie Nimesema cases wa upande wa na cases upande wa Jeff Ehe, uh -huh. ni makasins kutoka both sides. Mother side and the father side. Nimesema makasins kutoka upande wa bibi yake Jeff na makasins kutoka upande wa Jeff. Ndio wanachukuliwa foto. From that tutakuwa na wanakamati. Tutakuwa na wanakamati kamati kutoka Nairobi. Kamati kutoka Nairobi. Baba si uje. Baba mzazi. Uau wakimaliza. Yule baba wakanisa tafadhali wakati ni wako. wakati ni wako tafadhali yule baba wa kanisa na nasikia kuna anko wa Jeff kutoka kisi afuate huyu mzee akimalizia tafadhali Okay sawa hiyo ni yule anko Jeff kutoka kisi You are through Yule anko kutoka kisi amechukuliwa Eh Yule anko kutoka kisi you are through you are done eh Okay sawa Eh hey, achukue na watoto wa, wa Jeff Arafu kutoka hapa tunataka kamati kutoka Nilisema sister si wa mose waje na sister si wa mamu waje tafadhali Sister si wa bibi yake mose waje Sister si wa bibi yake mose waje In other ones mashangazi kama kuna hiyo naweza tumkwa kwa Kiswahili. Huyo ni anko wake kutoka Kisii. 
sisters wa bibi musee waje tafadhali na tukitoka hapo tunataka wafuatiwe na kamati kutoka Nairobi kamati kutoka Nairobi the chair together with your people brothers wa Catherine to make the language easier brothers na sisters wa Catherine waje brothers and sisters wa Catherine bwana matanka anataka usajilishe kamati yako ili tafuatia wakitoka kamati from Nairobi na wafuatiwe na kamati kutoka Matakiri uko upande wa Nkondi brothers and sisters wa Catherine tafadhali kamati kutoka Nairobi ndio itafuatia na kamati kutoka Matakiri kamati ya Nairobi na kamati ya Matakiri ambako Nkondi Asante kamati ya Nairobi kamati from Nairobi na nataka nione kando kamati ya kutoka Nkondi wawe karibu hapa Tafadhali Matakiri group msimame kando kidogo wakitoka mnaingia Nkondi kamati au wakimaliza mnaingia tafadhali Ndio matakiri when I talk of Nkondi it's matakiri Sawa so, I know I have worked in that place I know So matakiri is part of Nkondi So kamati kutoka Matakiri Asante kamati from Nairobi Matakiri group Munaweza kuwanya kidogo kidogo. Na tunaomba tunaomba mkifika hapa tafadhali usitoe mask. Kaa na mask vile vile ilivyo please. Babu bale kia au akikamilisha Deccan group. Deccan group please, Deccan group, Deccan group, Deccan group. Na cousins wa Jeff from Nairobi. Photographer please you be very fast on issues. Waju a time is not on our side please. Or in the security has started complaining. Cousins wa Jeff from Nairobi. Ana wale tok cousins wale wale ngwambicho kaya ka ho ka umera ka ho tena ba ubange no baba diogu tena ba ubange no ba dongera dio ba ringwa ndege ndani yao ukichukuliwa picha unapita njia hii ndio hao wengine nao waingie msije mkaongana njiani na tafadhali fanyeni haraka sawa tafadhali tafadhali kama umekuja kwa Tent yapa, ama uko mahali popote pale please va mask tafadhali Ndeka group baada ya Deccan group tutakuwa na politicians politicians wetu mtakuja DM Okay asante sasa tunataka kwenda kwa groups. Ndeka wamekuja. Okay, asante. Ah, ninyi malizeni haraka haraka ndio nataka kwa ingia tafadhali. Sato. Korokerania ile korokerania. Ene group, ene group ile imejipanga kama ndeka please waje. Ni wakati wa ene group from any corner ile wao wamejipanga kama ndeka. Eh Ndeka group wamechukuliwa Kuna wafanyikazi Kuna wafanyikazi wa Eros ama ile hospitali Eros department 
head of the department unajua Jeff alikuwa daktari kama wao na follow that head of the department please come for a photo and yeah. more and more so kama mlikuwa unafanya kazi na katika yeah. hospitali ya ya, ya mheshimiwa huyu wetu au mlikuwa mnafanya na yeye please ni wakati wako tunajua alikuwa daktari alikuwa anafanya na minister of health kuja sinai eh daktari oh. wote wajua wao wanajali maslahi ya mili yetu hiyo department ya health workers na tukichukulua zote pamoja wale wanafanya na hospital yake staff wataacho wata hapo wachukulue tufuatiwe na sinai drops hiyo industry yake ya maji tufuate hivyo Okay asante. Okay, staff ya Sinai Hospital. S staff ya Sinai Hospital please. Staff, staff ya Sinai Hospital please. Staff, Sinai Hospital. Na wafuatwe na staff ya Sinai Drops. Staff Sinai Drops ifuate. Hiyo ni Sinai Hospital staff. Sinai hospital Sinai drops Sinai drops wafuate please Kama wao nafanya na drops kuja tafadhali Sinai drops Wafuate na marafiki kutoka Mombasa please Na toomba muharakisha kwa sababu wakati hauko nasi sasa kuna marafiki wake Jeff kutoka Mombasa Hao ni Sinai drops Ala ambao wanatengeneza na kutuuzia maji huku wanafanya kwa hiyo industry Marafiki kutoka Mombasa wa Jeff tafadhali Kuna makaseni wake kutoka Kisi makaseni sio yule anko makaseni Makaseni from Kisi Arafu kutoka hapo kanisa ifuatie pasta Wajua nikitaja jina lako unatakao ufanye haraka kwa sababu ya masaa tafadhali Kanisa Tafadhali kanisa Okifanyeni okay, haraka wakifuata ili pasta hawe nyuma yenu hapo Kanisa kutoka kwa kanisa tuga na wanasiasa wetu wanasiasa wetu wa MP with your team wale watu wote wanaohusikana mambo ya siasa tafadhali eh if you are aspirant or you are already in come forward i can see our deputy governor our MP and the aspirants our mama county karibu sana mam we are serving the society eh Eh. Tafadhali wacha ni kumbushwa kama kuna tumeacha tukienda kwa the next step. Okay. Nephews na nieces wa Jeff na mom from Tharaka and the other parts of this country tafadhali tusiwaache nje 
manises na ma nephews ana bara gina na alwa gina ba jefu na mami tafadhali nephews and nieces from both sides please from there kuna watu wanaoachwa au wakichukuliwa ni sisi tutachukuliwa kama mcs with my brother here then from there we shall go to the next part au ni ma nieces and my ma, na ma nephews waya tunganisha lugha Home bearers, home bearers, please come forward. Home bearers. Sawa. Dr. Mutio, Dr. Brown Kairadia please kujeni. Na Kiambi. Wana Kiambi kujeni tafadhali. Msiwacho nje. These are friends, close friends wa Jeff. Please. Close friends. Dr. Sindaktari Mutio, Brown Kairadia, wana na Kiambi. Kuna special photo. Kwa ni marudi, mzee? Let me be guided properly, please. And after you are through, buwana kiambi wacho hapo, uchukulio yako peke yako, for special consideration. Chukua yoyo ya Mr. Kiambi peke, chukua ya kiambi alafu anjoiniwe na Fred yake. Oh, na bibi yake. Kiambi. Bibi yake please, kapo. Asante. Oh, sole atukujua kama alikuwa naye pole sana. <laughs> Tusamee tafadhali ma'am. We never knew you were around. Okay, asante. Na kuomba my call MC tuweke vitu chini tuchukulie foto yetu. From there we shall go to Euroje please. Wherever is the how to for Euroje, please come forward. It is a time for now to listen to the history of our brother. The, the one who is to read the Euroje, please. Uh, we are sorry for having taken too long. Mnajua, uyu ni mtu waeshi masana. Na na watu wengi sana watabaka mbali mbali. That's why we had to take that long. So just bear with us. Euroje, please. Euroje please. Euroje. Who is to read us through that part, please? I think the one to read the Euroje must be or a master will be prepared for the same. And to save time, please, it's good that he comes here uh, forward for that part, please. The MCs are very much in order. And you know your duty. Our duty is to call you. And we are doing exactly that. Oh, okay, that can you go under the shade so that we don't asa, asante sana metokeza. Ndiye huyu hapa. Asante. Eh, karibu sana baba. Fantastic for him. Good afternoon. I'll read the eulogy of the late Dr. Joseph Muse. 
early life, uh, Dr. Jofe Muche was born on 9th September 1968 at Teraka Matakiri village. He was the firstborn of uh, Nicholas Muse Kinyaki and Raya Kwamboka Nyairo. Education. He attended Mati, uh, Matakiri Primary School and later completed his primary education at Nkondi Primary School in 1981. He later proceeded for his all level education at the Moy Forces Academy School in Nairobi from 1982, completing in 1985. Jeff was hardworking, and this led him to qualify for an A-level education at Nkobo High School in 1986, completing in 1988. While waiting to attend the next level of education, he was employed at Kondi uh, Secondary School as an uh, untrained teacher and later left in 1989 to join the University of Nairobi for a bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery in 1990. He was the first uh, in his region, Taraka, to study medicine and surgery. He, he was currently pursuing his master's degree in economics at the University of Nairobi. He graduated as a medical doctor in uh, 1998 and went to Machakos General Hospital for his internship. And thereafter, he was posted at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital as a medical doctor. He practiced medicine in the following institution, just uh, to name a few, AAR, Kemri, and Gatewood Hospital. He was humble and hardworking. Through his hard work and dedication to his duties, he became the proprietor of and, and executive director of Sinai Hospital in Ongata Rongai, a position he held until his demise. Geoffrey married Catherine Kasikumuli in 2002, and later they were blessed with three children, namely Stephanie Kawera Muse, Joe Muthomi uh, Muse, Joy Clara Muthoni Muse. On Saturday, the 6th of March, 2021, Geoffrey was rushed to hospital after de developing a uh, sudden illness. He was immediately hospitalized and was in hospital for two weeks. Before the Lord called him home on the Monday of 22nd, March 2021, as we celebrate the life of our son, brother, nephew, cousin, in-law, friend, father, and husband, we thank God for the blessing and the opportunity he gave us to share his life. We loved you dearly, Jeff, and the memories we have shared together over the years, we will cherish for a lifetime. May the almighty God rest your soul in eternal peace. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. He has led us through the eulogy. But uh, MC, the father let me have this thing sanitized before I collect. Can I have the tributes? One from the parents. Parents, Kirago, Kirago, please. Kirago, please. Kirago, Mose, please. big bro. We have lost a strong, special man whom we held together. My heart is broken and stable through all the tears of crying. He was a blessing to me, an inspiration, my rock, my brother, my safe space. The gap he has left, nobody can see. Nobody can feel it. Jeff, my elder brother, loved everybody, humble and obedient. I miss the right word to define. He died a hero. We will never forget him. 
he has left a wife and children through whom we shall remember him forever. Our sister Kate Mose, strong and hardworking as you have always been, we shall stand with you and support you to fulfill the dreams that you had together with my brother. In fact, my brother just left. And I believe we shall meet one time. My brother had no beef and no enemy. He was a friend to everybody. If I can say and remember a few things that he has ever done to the community, not forgetting to what he has done to us as a family. In fact, I remember one time at my, back at our village, there was this water for irrigation. The, the villagers had problems to get the pipe, so he decided to support without he decided to support without caring who will get the water and who will not get the water. Those are some of the things that he did. Not even forgetting that there's a time he bought a tank so that the water storage at the nearest primary school, which is our neighbor, can be used by the students instead of going to fetch from the river or from the bowl. In fact, it is with grief that we receive we received the news of his death. Sure, I don't know how and who is going to stand this up, but I pray God that he'll make a miracle and he'll make us strong and stand in his absence. Thank you. Asante uh, sana. Sasa. On behalf okay, of okay. Kwa niaba ya Bibi, Jenny Kuja. Kwa niaba ya Bibi, please, Sis Jenny. Then thereafter, we shall have Stephanie and Claire on behalf of the children. Afternoon. My name is Ajin Mihenya. I'm reading Captain Sidi. And the reason why she is not able to read her Swedish is because she is still in hospital and um, she is doing much better and we hope that she will be out soon. However, it is true that what they say about time, how it goes so fast. We have been together for 20 years now, yet it feels just like the other day that we met. I remember how young we were back then and so deeply in love. We knew every early on that, on that we were destined to be together. And so we started our life together as man and wife. And what an incredible journey it has been. God has been so gracious and kind to us over the years and has blessed us immensely. Stephanie, Joe, and Clara are our wonderful gift from God. You wore the heart of fatherhood with such grace and honor, tailoring hard to build a life for your family. The children have not only lost a father, but a lifelong friend and companion. You have selflessly given of yourself to me and the children over the years. You and you have loved and cared for us like only you would. You, Jeffrey, as my husband, has made me laugh, wiped my tears, hugged me tight, watched me succeed, seen me fail, and kept me strong. You were the promise that I had a friend in you forever. You were my greatest blessing from God. 20 years feels like 
such a short time because we still shared so many dreams and plans for our family. We were yet to travel and see the world. Life without you will never be the same again, but, you will soldier, we, we, but I will soldier on. I will carry along your vision, even as I love and take care of our children, knowing well that you will always be watching over us, guiding us, and holding us close. For this we, lo we love, don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near, still loved, still missed, and very dear. On this day, I want the world to know that I am a very proud wife and mother, for, for the saying goes, a man's success is measured by what his wife and children say about him. Money and accomplishments mean nothing if you let your home down. I will speak of you to our children and God willing one day to your grandchildren. I will let them know of what a great man you were and how you were a lover of God, family, and life. I am grateful to God for the years shared with you here on earth and for the life and family we were blessed with together. Regardless of the sorrow, the spl sleepless nights, and everything in between, I will walk this earth, always carrying you in my heart. My love, I thank you for loving me and for showing me that true love really is not just words, but your actions. Thank you for loving our children and selflessly giving of yourself to us. And now as I close, I want to say, that Geoffrey has been my greatest honor and privilege to be called Geoffrey Adams Omoena Muse. I love you so much, sweet, and I honor you as my husband and father of our chil three children. Go well, my love. Dance with the angels till we meet again. Okay, thanks. From there, now we shall go to the tributes of. Can we have Stephanie and Krala here? Stephanie and Krala, please. This is your time. He was a very loving father to my family and I, and I never expected to just see 12 years of my life to come to an end. I loved him so much, and um, I never thought this day would come until the day came, but God, I'll see you on the other side. I just wanted to say that life, life short, too short, I know that saying. Well, um, God, I'll always remember you because you've made me who I am for the 18 years you've been in my life. And um, the, before I left to do my exams, we made that promise, and I tend to keep it, and I will honor that promise. I make you proud as I continue, and all the dreams that we had, you had set. I'm going to make sure that I do them. Just want to say. 
will miss you sister jo me and sara and we love you very much and we'll see you also when we go to heaven and i know you're gonna be watching us from above and we'll keep that in our hearts we love you and we'll miss you yeah Can you can we have uh, the Santessa, please? Okay, from there, we should go to the committee. Can we have the committee from Nairobi? Can be on. I think you understand that you are the chair there. This is your time. Well, uh, thank you, Masters of Ceremonies. Good afternoon, everyone. Abari Zenu. Well, I've not come here to read a tribute for my friend. I've just come to talk on behalf of the committee that was meeting in Nairobi to see Jeff's set off in a, a good way. What are you going to say? naitwa Francis Kiambi na mimi ndio nilikuwa mwenyekiti ya kamati yenye ilikuwa inakaa Nairobi kujaribu kupanga mpangilio ya hii mashishi ya leo na nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru watu wote tuliokuwa tunakaa nao Nairobi na wale wenye walikuwa anakaa hapa nyumbani Mimi si mwenyekiti wa kamati peke yake Mimi rafiki wa karibu sana wa Dr. Geoffrey Muse kama kiambi familia yangu kiongozi na bibi yangu mama yangu mzazi mpaka watoto wetu Daktari Muse alikuwa daktari wetu wa nyumba Amekuwa rafiki yangu wa miaka mingi Tulipokuwa tunasoma tulikuwa tunasoma tuige mfano wake Nao daktari ayuko ile tunapoongea saa hii lakini ameata desturi inaoweza kuigwa na watu wengi wasomi kufanya biashara hata hutu mwenyewe rafiki ya kila mtu ungalikuwa na shinda uite dr mose hata kama alikuwa anajifanyia kazi gani angeacha kazi yake kuja kukusaidia bila kujali anachopoteza wakati anachukua muda wake kuja kumfanya kazi yako si watu wengi wanaweza kuwa na roho kama ya daktari actually we used to say dr mose had a golden heart kuamini tuchaamini kwa sababu mtu akifariki hawezi rudi kuongea tena Jeff <laughs> kama rafiki yangu nimekuja kuwaga heshima ya mwisho leo lakini tunawaza vile tumekujua mali unapoenda utakuta marafiki wa kuongojea na wa kusifurahishe vile ulikuwa unatufurahisha na sisi tukikuja tutakupata 
kwa familia ndio bado tunajua daktari alikuwa na kazi mingi alikuwa anafanya bibi yake yako hospitali na tunaendelea kumuombea apate nafuu atoke tuweze kuathiriana vile tunayosaidia irandi yenye mjefu alikuwa anafanya wakiwa pamoja tusije hapa siku ya leo kuja kushirikisha Jeff na tusahau alivyo tutendea wakati alikuwa hai hakuna mtu ana adui lakini mimi maisha yangu kutoka nijue dr mose kusema kweli sijapata adui yake hata mmoja watu wa familia tuko hapa kama familia moja rafiki zenu nimekuwa na wazo lolote zenye mngetaka tuongee sisi zenu asijakuja hapa kushirikisha rafiki yetu tusahau kwa wazazi tunalia zote pamoja kulia si makosa kwa sababu ni njia ya kumaliza uchungu tutaendelea kulia natalia pamoja lakini tuzisahau ya kwamba kuna majukumu mengine tutahitaji kutimiza baada ya kushirikisha njeo siku ya leo ndio kesho waliobaki tuweze kuwashughulikia anto wetu baba na baraka eh inko na kujuja kanya aka vujogeria nkado na ngole ya koyonde ndechia man wakamitira banga maziko majofi nairobi no nto bobi dira tore kire na kaita kai komba kore ambiru ila tora eneo ya sibitari nene na komba kwenu ya jeff na shima bora tora gari ya kuroga ana tokia la yo ma kuroga kai sibitari eto kuromba murungu mona mutethia ume kenda ya ayo tiwe wira mwana tiwe biyo bore ya Nkuporombe mundi, wandere kurombe la jefu na mwishu wake, achiari na atori, na achiwale batu wa baareo, kenda mba, kumba kuyo kestepu ringe tigere. Otherwise, nchina wa yore na buwana MC, jefu mbochore, nkime hapo mwode sikira yifu na kanywa. Mwurungu mba kumenya, mburatu wa roza, hala ntedhia, anda mutedhia, kutakatu wa libani ni, makata tuye kakuru ndio utia tu na bani ni mono wanaugua tuti ba koro mono ngozi ya koro bage etwa ndi nanda kaire ala wa isi bwega ni mono baina bo merie na ito magiria twinde ora gato kadi mruno tete tokara na kaita kaga bisara tuti bereza tuti bwega ni thank you mono kaina bo tete okay asan sana bwana matanka for the ones mr nyairo from kisi Kwa niyaba ya my friends, relatives wa mkisi, misa nyairo utoko ni mbiya biyafu. Karibu sana mze. Wacha nisaramie nyinyi jioni hii hati ngawa tuko na ima neno. Abari zenu, mungu ni mwema. Mimi ni ndugu ya Raili. Mimi ndi Raili ndio mkubwa kwetu. Mimi kuna msichana katikati mimi ndio anamfuata hiyo msichana lakini tukiwa na vijana vijana ndio anasemekana ndio mkubwa. Niseme kidogo juu ya Omwena au Dr. Mzee. Omwena ni mtoto ya tata yangu. Omwena amefanya mingi. Omwena ametufanyia mingi. Meru, Kisi, Ukambani, kila bahari. Omwena amerea mama yango, amekuwa mgonjwa miaka mingi na amemubeba. Anabeba ye kwa mgongo. 
mpaka saisi mama alikataa kupaki kisi lakini nileta yeye kwa ajili angekubali kukaa bila kulilia umwena nilikuwa naomba mimi ninajua Catherine ni mtu ya biti nikiingia kwake wakati nilikuwa naingia anga kwake anajua anga, anga kwa yanga ameingia ana kitu ya kwanza kuuliza soso iko namna gani mimi ninasema tusako sawa sawa hako mgonjwa mimi ninaomba saa hii au wakati hii wakati mwina ametuwaja wale watoto yangu kutoka ukambani wale korera yangu kutoka ukambani au watoto yangu kutoka ukambani nataka mukirudi na robi mwambie Catherine yeye amefaa kwa mbili amefaa ya Jeff amefaa yake sasa mimi ninajua Catherine ni mtu ya kazi si mtu mvivu amewaja wasasi yake dada yangu ni mgonjwa ni kwa anafuruta chini yeye ndiye atajua namna atafanya namna Jeff alikuwa anafanyia hawa Jeff wako na watoto yao yeye atajua namna ya kufanya Jeff amesomesa mtoto ya ndugu yangu ambaye hana wasasi baba yake aliwaja yeye akiwa mdogo mtu kusomesa mtoto parallel mpaka na Marisa hiyo bana mtu mimi tafadhali mkienda na mimi nitarudi kukuja kuona kata tena nitarudi paka Nairobi nikuje tukae tutatoka kisi watu wengi wa jini kufungiwa hii tumefungiwa tutakuja tukae hapa nyumbani kwa Jeff tuongee na tu, tuongee sasa nilikuwa na waja hii maneno kwa Rabail kama ndugu yake mkubwa tafadhali dada yake akitoka hospitali angalie hao wasasi yake wamewajwa na Jeff huyu mama yangu ni mgonjwa na nani ana waja anajua kwa hivyo mimi sai kuchokesa nyinyi hapa Nyi, hapo nimewajia hapo hapo nikienda mbele nitaribu tafadhali tusaidiane Jeff Catherine Jeff wa yuko Catherine sasa amefaa kwa via mbili yake na ya nani na ya Jeff kwa hivyo yeye angalie watoto yao angalie mama yake na papa yake mimi sina maneno mengine mpaki salama asante sana, sana mzee for the advice sasa mzee oh. au wame, wameongea wenu wa nyumbani this is time ugabindabu huyo ndiye amekuwa mugabindabu ndiye amekuwa chama ni kule upande wa eh. mkondi na ni wa nyumbani sasa tunataka wageni wa wameongea kutoka nje lake sasa ni la hapa nyumbani ni Mwagabidabo tafadhali wageni kutoka nje wameongea wenu wa nyumbani nimekupatia kwa hapo hili hata uambia asanti for the what they have done outside there wenu wa ndani karibu Asante sana Sasa mlivyo sikia naitwa Mugambi Samuel Dabo Anamuse Kwanza nita nitashukuru kabisa atoa kwa ira kamati ya Nairobi ila mlitusaidia Pia ningesema ni asante sana kwa wale watu wame wamekuja kwa sababu ni kama tulikuwa tumechanganyikiwa kidogo Mimi tumesoma na Jeff toka utotoni tulikuwa pale class 1 tunakula sahani moja tunacheza ile michezo unajua yote ya utoto mpaka tukawa watu wazima tukaoa na saa hii hivyo Mungu amefanya pia tunasema ni shukurani. Niseme kidogo juu ya Jeff. Jeff ni mtu ambaye hakuwa anajishuru. Somebody who could not give up. 
In fact, mambo ingine nilikuwa na mwambia, lakini imekuwa ngumu sana, daktari. Ananiambia no, mwambi, hii tuende mbere. In fact, ya menisikuma sana kwa maisha. Is somebody who could not give up? Hata ikiwa ngumu na mnagani. Yeye tu, ananiambia tuende mbere. Daktari ni mtu alikuwa akikuja nyumbani anachukua watoto wa kijiji hapo including my own children anachukua mtoto na mwambia wewe utakuwa daktari anamwambia wewe utakuwa mtu mkubwa ukiona wakati amefika nyumbani pale matakiri kila mtu ni kama amejawa na furaha ndio daktari amekuja na akikuja kama mimi ama mwingine rafiki ya yuko anakuja kukutafuta kwa nyumba you can imagine just kind of generosity ni mtu akunipigia simu for like one hour na nikucheka tu tunafurahi tunafurahiana na niambiwe unaendeleaje walimu inaendeleaje unafundisha vizuri namwambia niko sawa daktari so we have done things together and now I'm humbled kwa sababu hivyo Mungu amepanga kwa rafiki yangu eh tumeshukuru tu mimi sikuweza kuamini siku ya kwanza lakini nilijikaza na saa hii niko atakueni kwa hivyo mimi naomba atoa wale tumeachwa ile kazi daktari ameanza yale matendo alikuwa anatendea wengine kijaendeleze kwa sababu alikuwa ni kama nyota kwa hiyo kijiji yetu ya matakiri kwa hiyo mbumbo mbaku wa wantu wetu eh mara murungu akarukia atugetegeria lakini tuge murungu no mwega igita lionde nonto bwa daktari igita irwa twete atiri tanto ntura yetu firi Watu walikuwa wanapewa matibabu huko matakiri fri. Watu wa kwetu wanaweza sema, "Wadhi yao akifika hapo, watu wanakuja tu kutoka vijijini huko. Mimi mguu, mimi mkono, kichwa daktari na kuna siku hata moja." Alikuwa anauliza ati, "Hata peni moja." You can imagine of that. That is generosity. Hata wakati mwingine unamupigia unamwambia ni kwa hivi na hivi anakwambia mugambi kimbia mahali fulani upate hii na hii na kama una nini mimi niambie nilipe na mwambie hapana daktari saa hii nimekuwa mtu mkubwa so you can see that kind of generosity tunaomba tu tuombe mama yule amebaki tuombe pia wazazi wake wakae vizuri na tuwasupport kama watu wa matakiri please Tamuchiri na Raili tuba support igita riri gancho kerie kamitira to ayo nyonkado no ntututira umaga muje wanta muchiri mosea ta wanta muchiri tutira umaga muje wake atukiwa na dakuru ga otaka mwirendi na tanta muchiri tukarangia nwe akegwesa sawa tukarangia na Raili akegwesa sawa ogu kando ambe antubetu bubu turakali meatu ma wanta muchiri Mtu endele ya kumusa poti ya ntuba ntura, kenda na noe, egua, tui wa noe, kutia mtu ganile. Sita ungea sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana Mugambi. Sasa kutoka hapa tunenda kwa hii hida sula likuwa nafanya nayo. Hii yake, Sinai Drops, Mr. Paul, tafadhali. Yoni si nine drops. Yesa, abari ya kila mtu. Na wasalimu nyote kwa jina la Yesu. Abari ya leo. Ok. Mimi kwa nasa kuongea machache tu. I'll only take about two minutes. Or three. One, naongea kwa mambo ya sinai drops. Na nafanya pia sinai hospital. Lakini kuna daktari hamefika. Dr. Ondieke. Dr. Ondieke amefika 
na mnataka na ataongea kuhusu sinai sasa uh, dr msee was a father figure alikuwa kama baba yetu hapa na kila mahali he was also a brother to those who are older like myself but for the younger ones he was a father figure ange wa advice eh hii ungefanya namna hii kweli unatakana we si ile utafungua yako utafanyaje so he would always advise the young and the old secondly alikuwa a very shrewd businessman by that i mean biashara yake yote alikuwa anaangalia kuwa he makes money ametengeneza pesa hakupenda kufanya biashara ya kupoteza pesa so that is one of his legacies ya tatu he was a very friendly man ile wengine wamesema alikuwa na roho safi roho iliyopenda watu wengine walikuwa nakuja wanatibiwa ama hapa tunapeana maji bure ukimwambia nahitaji na maji na sina pesa angekupatia ya nne he was a very clean man kila mahali anapofanya kazi anataka usafi he was also a very smart man so hii ni legacy tungependa kuendeleza lastly alikuwa na very high standard yani alikuwa anataka kila mtu afanye kazi kwa kiwango cha juu hakutaka tu kila mtu afanye kazi lazima ufanye kazi kwa kiwango ya juu sikutaka kusema mengi nataka niwache hapo okay asante sana bwana po huyo ni wasina drops sasa kutoka hapo tunaenda kwa Sasa kutoka hapa tunaenda kwa staff ya hospitali. Yule ambaye anahusika anaitwa Nani? Mutuo. Oh, daktari Mutuo kuja kwa niaba ya upande kwa health tafadhali. Daktari Mutuo you know even if i don't pronounce the word correctly or the name you forgive me kuna mother tongue tafialas which is around we are sorry we are sorry you know sisi atuwajui so sometimes hiyo spelling tumeandikiwa jina uende tunakosea so kama unajua you are the doctor in charge sasa wa sinai hospital tafadhali njo sometimes for him please to address the congregation Yeye ni daktari Mutuo anaongea kwa niaba ya hospitali pamoja na kwa niaba ya madaktari wengine tukita for that department of doctors kwa hii sherehe. Karibu sana daktari Mutuo. Asanteni sana. Amjamboni. Bwana salimia kwa jina la Mungu na Baba. Mungu mwaminifu wakati wote kila jambo anafanya tunashukuru. Mse ni rafiki yangu na rafiki wa madaktari wangu tulianza zamani kwa wanafunzi ngogo 35 years ago mpaka wa leo tumekuwa marafiki. Na rafiki yetu imeendelea kuongezeka mpaka wakati Mungu alifanya vile alifanya. Na jiatuwezi petition ni Mungu tunakubali na tunataka kufariji familia na watu wote wa hii, hii area yote kumepoteza kiongozi mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda kila mtu mtu alikuwa hata na ubinafsi ukitaka nini ukitaka kumpigia simu saa ngapi daktari alikuwa tayari kukusaidia tumepoteza rafiki marafiki wote wote madaktari wamenituma na wafariji nyote kwa majina naitwa dr Mutio na yetu ni makweni asandeni okay asante sana daktari Mutio hiyo ni daktari kutoka upande wa makweni asante sana brother sasa kutoka hapa nimeambua tafadhali kuna issue kutoka kwa wazazi waje kwa kiwa wawili mmoja ndiye ataongea ama wakiwa wawili mam na baba kwa Jeff wako na issue wamesema wako na college lazima waongee hapa Mama na baba wa 
mama eh kate mama na baba wa kate tafadhali ndio wanataka ongea sio upande wa jeff ni upande wa mama tafadhali jua tu nasikia kwa hospitali mama na baba yake ama college imepotea Okay, karibuni, karibuni mkoa wa Gwili. You have an issue? Nituambie. Huyo ndiye mama na baba bibi yake Jeff. Kidharaka na adhoni ba Jeff. Baraba mwere mwari. Karibuni kwa kivuli mzee. wamesema wako na courage lazima waongee na tuwacha tuwape nafasi na na kuomba tafadhali pasta he is a very senior person on the ground that you cannot add which is so fast so that some are left hanging asante karibu mzee va maski vizuri tafadhali asante kwanza wacha nichue na mimi wakati kwa jina Yesu Kristo wa mjambo na mimi si jambo eh, kwanza ni ningeweza kusema ya kwamba kuko jambo ambayo naweza kufanyika hata unaweza kupoteza maneno ya kuongea mimi kwa niaba ya nyumba yangu mimi ni pamoja na bibi yangu Hatuna maneno ambaye na tunaweza kuongea kwa sababu kwa sababu tuko na tuna feel tumewachwa wrong side. Daktari alikuwa mtoto ambaye tulikuwa tunampenda. Alikuwa mtoto eh, eh, mwaminifu, mtoto wa, wa matendo na alikuwa anapenda kila mtu. Kwa hivyo tumempoteza. Lakini tunasema ya kwamba Mungu akosei anafanya kile ambaye anaona kinafaa sisi tume tume tumemwachilia aweze kupumzika lakini tuna iko ombi moja ambaye ningetaka kila mtu atusaidie kuomba bibi yake iko hospitali na unajua kupoteza mtoto na yule mwingine ni mgonjwa imekuwa ngumu sana kwa hivyo uko we have had every heart tafadhali mtusaidie kuomba ili bibi yake aweze kupata nafuu ili aweze kutoka hospitalini awe awe mzima aweze kusaidia watoto awasaidie wasasi na aweze kuendelea na ile kazi ambayo walikuwa wakifanya kwa hivyo nashukuru kwa kuja pamoja ili tuweze kuaga kadhari asante sana That is a family even if the mic is not sanitized they are ever together
katika eh, ulimwengu wa raha. Yale ni ngeomba ni kama vile ni baba Kafri na mesema kila moja ukijua usuni wa mtoto tunasikitika sana kwa kupotesa kijana wetu na mtoto mwingine naye ni huyo hospitali Mungu atu, a, atende maajabu ili akuje ku join family na waendeleshe maisha mali wameachiwa na baba yao kwa hivyo kwa wasasi wa jefu tunaitana kanyanya atunjawahi kusema pamoja kwa sababu kila mtu alikuwa anasikia moyo ukiwa mzito ninaomba Mungu awapatie nguvu brothers sisters na kila mmoja na muendelee na kushirikiana na watoto hawa kwa sababu sisi hatuwezi vile nyinyi ndio muka karibu sana na kwa Mungu awatie nguvu na mama unaosikia ubaya mwili Mungu akuponye na muendeleshe kazi Mungu mali amefikisha may Geoffrey rest in peace sasa kuna brother ako na issue wamefuata wazazi wake akasema lazima awe na issue kwa brother kwa hivyo wacha tu aseme kwa kitu kidogo alafu tuendelee eh atuko mbali kidogo tu tukitoka tunaenda kwa viongozi wetu au wa county na national government then from there we shall be through yes uh, i want to say uh, good afternoon na kuongea na sauti kwa sababu inasemekana tusikiki sana so ukikuja hapa tafadhali pasta sauti kwa sababu iko live so watu wale wako nasikiza huko kwingine waweze kusikia uh, as a brother in law to Jeff Adam i want to say we have lost a great man we have lost a very great man Jeff was a father Jeff was a leader. Jeff was a mentor to many. And many of you seated here. If at one point you interacted with Jeff, you can attest the kind of person Jeff was. He has helped many. Amesaidia watu wengi. And he never used to care because he had a heart to help. I think it's high time that we take over the mantle that Jeff has left behind. He had a dream and a very big dream. And I stand, as I stand here, I know they are very close friends. Tusikuje hapa, tuseme tulikuwa marafiki na urafiki yako na Jeff ishia hapa. I want to call upon Dr. Moteo, who was a great friend. The dream Jeff had, Daktari, should live and live to be. I want to talk to Wakili Brown, Kairaria. That friendship, that love should not stop. The dreams that he had, may they be achieved. Daktari Peter, Ukiru, the same, same spirit. And those are the friends that I know because I know there are many. That dream should not end. Mheshimiwa Francis, our chairman, just talked so much about you. He talked about the hospital that you are to start. That dream should not die. It should not die. Sleeping here is watching you he is watching you and we need to ensure that whatever he wanted to accomplish comes to be he has left behind children that need your support he has left behind a wife who is in hospital in icu and getting better but 
we need to ensure that that goes. Let me say this as I finish. And this is one thing that I love, I, I, I learned from Jeff. Please, what will happen? There is something called loving your parents. Kupenda wazazi. Jeff loved his parents, both sides, with a lot of love. Mama yangu here, na, na, na mze. He loved them. He ensured they had a comfortable life. And I want to say that should not stop. And all of us here, let me tell you, there is a price when you love your parents. And just set a precedent. And that precedent should continue. Having said that, I don't want to say much. Mine is to urge all friends and all relatives, let us emulate and leave that legacy. Asante ni sana. Okay, asante sana, um, brother. Sasa hapa tuko na kujua hii mambo iko hapa iko juu sana na mengine tukijaribu kuruka tunarudisho nyuma. Eh, ukiangalia bwana Jeff unaona kulinga vile nimesikia mama yake imetoka upande wa kisi, bibi yake imetoka upande wa makueni na yeye ni mudharaka. Yes, a national figure. So we cannot just go very fast on issues. So we have a daktari. Daktari anaitwa daktari o Odiek. Na ukisikia Odiek you understand. So yes, a national figure. Dr. Odiek, please. I think there's an issue you want to address. And it's good that you come. So that you have all the time to. Can I have that one sentence that you had over to the Dr. Ali? Tafadhali mtasamee kwa sababu ya masaa kwa sababu wale watu wanataka kuongea unkiangalia anaitwa daktari 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 and no it means sasa waongee lazima waongee na tuwezi kuwaruka kwa metoka mbali kama huyu nasikia ndio deck sasa karibu bwana daktari asante sana e, watu wa dharaka tunasema ni asante sana nyote zimekuja kusherehekea maisha yetu volume Naitu. volume mzee mimi naitwa daktari ondieki gisori E, namjua Jeff kwa miaka mingi kwa sababu wakati alianzisha hiyo hospitali ya Sinai nilikuwa mmoja wa madaktari wenye arisa kumsaidia kufanya kazi na kuna watu wengi ambao tumefanya kazi na yeye huko Sinai naongea kwa niaba yao na siku wengi wanakaa hapa kwa Kenzi Chomba Dr. Rusike Dr. Kibunja e, Riro na wengine wote ambao mko hapa Jeff hata kwa sasa hatuamini kwamba ametuacha kwa vile alikuwa mtu ambaye tunasema ako full of life na vile wengine wamesema ako ako very determined hakuna jambo ambalo linakuja anasema kwamba hapa hatuwezi eh ako na huyo moyo tena alikuwa mtu mwenye ako very very generous na wakati wa kwanza nilikutana na Yesu kwa kwanza nilienda kwa hospitali yake nilimfuata huyu grandmother wake kutoka huko kisi ambaye alikuwa very very na, na nice lady na Jeff akam introduce kwangu na bila wamesema hapa alikuwa amependa watu sana ameheshimu wazazi sana yani ni vigumu sana kwetu kuamini kwamba ametuacha lakini mipango ya Mungu nayo tunamwachia Mungu na tunaamini ya kwamba tume soma mambo mengi sana kutoka kwa Jeff kwa njia ya kazi kwa vile ya kufanya maisha bila amependa watu na hata kama ametuacha hiyo semi ambazo ametupa tunaomba kwamba tutaziendeleza na kwa watu wote tuendelee kumwambia Kate pia ili aweze kuwa vizuri na tunaamini na tumeona kwamba anaendelea vizuri ili aweze kuendeleza hiyo dream yenye Jeff alikuwa nayo tunashukuru sana na tunamwachia Mungu na tuna ombea familia yote tunajua nyinyi mko na majonzi makubwa kutuliko sisi kwa sababu sisi hata kama sio familia na tume tuka sana kwa moyo hatuwezi kuelewa jinsi wale familia watoto wazazi majonzi walio nayo asanteni sana nyote kwa kuja hapa na kwa niaba ya Sinai Hospital na madaktari wote na nurses former employees current employees tunaleta rambi rambi zetu na katika hii sherehe ya kum... Thank you.
Asanteni. Okay, asante sana bana. Sijui Dr. Odek, you look young. Unaona masomo ni kitu gani? Yes, not very old but is yes, a title doctor. Asante sana Dr. At your age with that title means something to us. Unaonekana kuna mama anaitwa Njina la Kitharaka hapa sana. Si amwadhi. Si amwadhi ima leto mama kurumba ya Kitharaka tana yaga. Si amwadhi. Eh leo leto la Kitharaka. Wadhi na watu kaita wasi angoi. Tafadhali ni ndanda yetu, ni jana wetu. Na ukisikia hiyo neno ki si amwadhi hiyo ni Kitharaka original. Oyu, Hii ya zamani. Oyu mwaragi na wandaktari. Sanitize for her, please. Uyo ndia siya muadhi. Sister to Jeff. Amesema lazima toke hapa. Eh, Mamu kuja hapa. Siya muadhi kuja hapa. Uangalie kamera. Mamiara, na baba, and I can see my brothers at the far end. Um, I'm not talking here because uh, I'm the only one who was sister to Jeff. Jeff had brothers who loved him. It just so happens that I was the only sister. And so we spent a lot of my years with Geoffrey. He was like my second sister father uh, when this happened it came as a shock to me because if I knew anyone could beat this I knew my brother could he has had so many milestones I never I always saw him as a hero who whatever he touched he could be able to maneuver so this one came as a surprise I'm so heartbroken. I don't know what to do. The only hope I have is that we can honor him through his children, through his wife. Um, I have seen my mother, who is a former shell of herself. I saw her immediately the news happened. And seeing her today, I'm seeing a different woman. She has lost so much, she seems broken. And I'm going to say this before Geoffrey, not for anyone else to listen, but just for me to tell him that we are going to take over now. We are going to take over taking care of your kids, taking care of the wife, and taking care of my parents. Kate is coming home. I don't need anyone to tell me otherwise. That much I know. The only issue I have is when, he's supposed, when she's supposed to come home. In my heart, I know she's coming home. And when she comes home, she will need a support system. And that support system, our family is willing to be there for her. Just as we were for Geoffrey Muse. And Jeff, I love you. I will miss you so much. What I would like to tell you, maybe we didn't have enough time for us to show you how proud we were of you. But from today, standing here, we are going to continue the, all the things that you taught us all the things that you taught us, that you taught us in life, you are teaching us even in death. The social capital here shows it all. You continue to teach us every day. And I would like to say sorry for anyone who took someone to hospital and didn't get them back. This has been the most heartbreaking thing I've ever endured in my life. My brother was my daughter. Okay, asante mamu. Naonekana kama karaji naisha. 
so we just ask you to put on so that we can maybe if you cannot continue we can just relieve you anyway i would like to say thank you to everyone who came here to pay their last respects and god bless you all and mom be strong i'm here for you all my brothers are here for you okay asante sana asante sana kwa hiyo sister jeff kwa vile amekuwa na courage ya kuongea lakini mwisho mwisho ikaisha for the minute is very very bad at time for us all tutamuelewa asante kutoka hapa sasa nitahanda over kwa my brother eh huyu tuko naye hapa aendelee kidogo nipumzike kidogo karibu brother yangu Thank you very much uh, my co my colleague eh holeni sana buye bwega uyu tumoranu eno mantu mara mangi ko guma ntu tamamu na expectant first time we are very sorry we have taken a lot of your time but we wish we could the issues we cannot jump because we did that this would have gone haywa ah uh, sasa kupitia pale we are going to have only nieces na nephews waje hapa wakija mmoja wao anasema just a word that is what they told me and that is the last group from there now we call our leaders na ni wachache sana leo ni kama watatu bwana pasta na from there we hand over to you so nieces and uh, nieces and nephews please wherever you are come over um good afternoon Uncle Jeff was a phenomenal kind-hearted man, funny and witted and more so fatherly. He opened his home to us and never did it feel like we were away from home. His home was our home away from home. Every time he came from work, he found us home and he would be so excited and say, "You guys, you're here. That is so good. I had missed you." We had the privilege of having him in our lives. He taught us the value of hard work and making smart decisions. As most, most of us can attest, he created time in his busy uh, schedule to read and study with us. He was always ready to teach us something new and was willing to make us understand the concepts that were so hard to grasp. He was engaging and loved a good debate. He was always encouraging and corrected us with love rather than condemnation. He made an effort to know each and every one of us and encouraged us to pursue what we wanted. He taught us that no dream is too weird to achieve nor any goal too absurd to pursue. We will surely remind each other of the loss of the lessons you taught us and hold each other accountable to them. He was always there for our aunt. We can call and uh, we can all attest that he truly loved her. He showed us what to expect from a relationship and he set the standard so high for all of us that we all vowed we will not settle for less. They uh, they both got to shape each other and were truly best of friends. Losing you is so painful, too much to bear, but God We thank you for the years you gave us with Uncle Jeff, for the lessons he taught us and the memories we made with him. To Auntie Casco, Stephanie, Joe and Clara, just as Dad showed us the value of staying together in unity, we promise to stand and be there for you in any way that we can. We collectively pray that God may give you may give all of you strength and comfort. We all really love you.
afternoon. Okay, um, we are now. Paul just says that I will just remember Uncle for how he did to me. If I just remember that he used to come home, I would just stay with him and tell him, Uncle, some days I will just be like you. He was always on my side. When I just had a problem, I would just call him. And he never let me down. I think I sometimes I told him that uncle, I would just like to be a nurse. And he never, he, just, he was just on my side every time advising me. And here I am today. He used to tell me, everything is possible, my daughter. And here today, I have just started my nursing. How I just say is that, uncle, we loved you. You are more than a uncle, more than a dad to us. We will, we will always remember you for who you are to us. Rest in peace, uncle. We will forever remember you. Asante ni sana watoto wetu. Napole ni sana. Makiwa, makiweni. Yes. After this juncture now, allow me, kwa sababu, atuwezi kuita everybody. Mwini wea rathi sasa, ni ite the area chief. Ibizazi ya, aja tuwa tuambie bye. I mean, hello, kwa sababu wapa ni kwake. Kisha tuende kwa our leaders. Wana chief. Kama chief wa yupo, na kuna assistant chief, aje. Uh, in case uh, none of them is around for now, uh, then, uh, oh, Karu, ma'am. Santi sana. I'm not a mandam, I'm not a sip, but um area manager why in Tongia Kidogo Sana Nju Yau you Muse Ameralata. Mimi na mujua kwangina muse. Mimi na itoa adikwa na nita kaezi mukubwa wangu. Hapo kwa muse ni mimi area manager wa hapa kunaitwa Marebe. Ukiangalia haya maji mnakunywa inatoka hapa tu Marebe hapa kwa nyumba yake kwa muse. Ni mtu alikuwa mtu mtulifu na mpenda watu. Akati akija hapo amenunua hiyo samba kutoka kwa baba yangu pari ni meoreo. Uyu mse harikuja akafanua hapa. Watoto wetu kwa mepata kazi kwa hii muladu. Unuono naadi kwa Nairobi boxi yake rakini si ya Nairobi ni ya hapa kezeno. Mse ni rafiki alikuwa wa kuamini ukimuelezea kitu yeye anasika hata anakupea mawaida mse ni mtu alikuwa daktari mi nilikuwa namuita daktari mse sasa wageni wale wametoka na Nairobi wanatoka kisi karibu hapa malebe muwe kama mko nyumbani na mkirundi mulundi kwa usalama na Mungu atamupo Asante uh, sana mama huyo ni area manager wa hapa unajua ni kawaida tuwape fursa ya kuongea kwa sababu ndio wenye hapa uh, sasa kama kuna our MCA in the absence of the MCA, kama kuna wale pengine ambao 
wanawania kuwa MCA. Mmoja tu aje aseme kama hakuna na naona kama hakuna tunaenda moja kwa moja kwa oh yuko tafadhali ukija hapa today is not a political day tafadhali ukija hapa today is not a political day nakupa just a, a minute useme jina lako usalimu what just a minute yes naanza na wewe dakika moja tu dakika moja nitakukata ukiendelea zaidi thank you thank you bwana mc yangu ni hata sio dakika moja ni nusu dakika eh, kwa majina naitwa moses kiambi eh, mwayani amira ya siasa inajulikana mnazim nazi leo siku ya siasa leo ni kuomboleza wa friend of mine jofrey jofrey dala salama familia jofrey kuheni salama be united nilikuwa na rafiki yangu kiambi hapo najua maneno yatakuwa sawa Siombe kula leo mtaomba kula 22 2022 KTMC. God bless you. God bless everyone. Thank you. Tumusifu Yesu Kristo. Kwa majina mimi naitwa James Kadonde. E, niko hapa kupeana pole zangu na za familia yangu kwa hii family ya Mose eh, najua eh, familia yake imekiwa sana na wale the neighbors eh, because they have left someone whom they have loved so much and we pray that may the might father eh, bless the soul of Mose into eternal bliss maneno ya siasa tutakuja kuongea baada ya asante asante sana asante hiyo Naongea kufupi ufupi namna hiyo. Eh, huyu ni mwalimu wenzetu. Okay, God is good at all the time. Uh, mimi naitwa John Mutheria Maomba. Lakini Mose daktari. Mimi tumejuana naye tukiwa shule. Na sitakosa kusema jambo moja. This has been a guy who has been very hard working. Akiwa kubo nilikuwa nilikuwa dharaka boy. Tulikuwa tunakutana. Lakini I've been a teacher to this school where we are hosting this uh, this sitting today. Mose alipokuja pale alianza huu mradi unaona wa mach. And then I consulted him. Nikamuuliza what is happening? What is it that you want to bring up here? Akaniambia this is a project. Akaniambia my brother if you want to get to get rich you first have to have an idea on how to help others. In the process of helping hiyo sasa nao in return utapata kitu. And that is why I also start and started thinking on how I could help the community around and I started that project to find there hapo ni mahali kuna bwao na nilikuwa naomba hiyo mbwao nilikuwa nataka hiyo mbwao tuweke tanki juu iwe inapigwa maji kutoka pale kwa bawa mbwao alafu tunasaidia the neighborhood na tukisaidia tunapata kitu otherwise naomba wale viongozi wetu tunao hapa kama ingewezekana ule mradi uwe completed nitashukuru sana Mr. Mose rest in peace tutapatana tena ndugu yangu asante na Mungu awabariki ah uh, thank you very much uh, Mr. Maumba Aya. E, mabibi na mabwana sasa tunaelekea moja kwa moja mpaka kwa viongozi wetu. E, nitampa fursa hii mheshimiwa Jotonga Murugara ndio haja hapa sasa aita wenzake ndio atumalizie. Karibu sana mheshimiwa. Oka mrembo yuno akudondekera nyamu inu ivire ni mheshimiwa. Eh Thank you. <coughs> Asante sana eh, masters of ceremonies. Wacha kwanza nisalimie watu wote wale wamefika kuomboleza na sisi leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Asanteni. 
yangu nimeambiwa ni kidogo chache kwalika viongozi wakuja wasalimia alafu tuendelee na hii hafla tuko naye lakini kwanza ikiwa kuna yeyote anataka kusalimiana na kupeana pole zake kwa vile yeye anataka kuwa mbungu wa Tharaka 2022 na kwa hapa wacha nipatie fursa hii asalimiane kunae very good very good Asante sana mheshimiwa jiji kwa nafasi hii. Waombolezaji wote, asalamu alaikum. Asalamu alaikum. Jina langu naitwa JM Nyaga ama James Mutwiri Nyaga. Na nimesimama hapa kuungana na wenzangu katika kutoa risala zangu za rambi rambi pamoja na kutoa ujumbe wangu wa makiwa. Kwa familia, kwa ndugu na marafiki, nasema kwamba daktari Muse alale pema peponi kwa hakika alijulikana sana katika ukarimu alikuwa si mnyimi hata kidogo Kuswahili wanasema kwamba mti mkubwa ukiwa wana wa ndege huyumba na kwa hakika najua sote hapa tumepata pigo kubwa ili ni pigo ambalo kwamba ni pengo ambalo hatuwezi kwa hakika kuliziba katika siku za hivi punde lakini tunasema kwa kila mmoja tunampa mkono wa Jabali wale matoka katika maeneo ya ukambani nasema mtevinya ni kweli nataka kudhibitisha kanda mnasi kwamba katika mwaka wa 2022 nitakuwa mmoja wao watakaokuwa katika kinyang'anyiro cha kuwania ubunge wa dharaka nikimalizia niseme kwamba hakuna ubao uliopo shosho unamuita shosho yangu hakuna ubao uliopo lakini lazima litendwe kwa hiyo kule babiloni wakati kiongozi wa kule alifika mahali akakusanya vikombe vyote akaenda kutengeneza sherehe karamu kubwa kwake nyumbani ndipo mandishi alitokea mene mene tekeri peresh mandishi hayo katika eneo la dharaka yametokea na mandishi hayo ni JM Nyaga kulinda babu hamna tatizo nipe hili ulipofika nifike mbele asanteni sana Asante asante. Asante JM. Nzuri sana. Kuna mwingine. Sijua kifungia mmoja atasema maneno yangu iliharibika kwa sababu ulipoenda kwa meeting ukunepea nafasi. Kuna yeye anataka kuwa senator. Kuna yeye anataka kuwa governor. Haya basi. Sasa wacha nimalizie ili nialike viongozi wenzangu so that we are able to complete this particular ceremony which is very solemn kwanza kabisa wacha nilete rambi rambi zangu mimi kama mbungu wa tharaka gitonga murugara na watu wangu wa tharaka wote nilete kwa familia ya bwana Geoffrey daktari watu wa kivino watu wa matakiri pande ile ingine nkondi na tharaka nzima kwa niaba ya familia yangu bibi yangu katiria kijana yake yule mkubwa wako pale asimame a wave ya yeah. wewe ndiye ana represent family yangu na kwa niaba ya family ya baba yangu murugara gakuru rafiki wa Nicholas na mama Lae kijana mwingine wake yako pale anaitwa Njagi a wave represented mimi wacha ni wakilishe leo mimi mwenyewe na tharaka yangu kwa sababu huyu tunaaga ni shujaa wa tharaka kiongozi wa tharaka shufavu ambaye sote tumpatia hekima yake doctor was my friend same age set could almost the same time and we have worked tirelessly to bring Zaraka where it is this 
was a great man. Doctor, if not for anything else, Angalio Kitabu amepigwa picha. His trademark was a smile. Every picture, look at it. The man was smiling. A smiling man is a loving man. A man who wishes everybody well. Akutaki mabaya. Lakini kwa mtu amekuja uso, we don't know what he stands for. This man stood for everything that was good for the people of Tharaka. Very good. Number two, to kitoka hapa, we must all commit to seme sisi wenyewe, sote, to say dear family yake, in whichever way. Mama ako hospitali, the first and foremost thing we do, ni kupiga mangoti, tumuombe. Mama atakuwa estawa, atapona, tutana ye nyumbani pale, pamoja, tuambie mungu, asante. Thank God for the years he has given us because of doctor. Number two, doctor has children who need tender care and support. And me as the member of parliament for the Raka, I pledge before you that I will support the children in the best of my ability in all ways to ensure that they get the best of the education, they also live a decent life. Number three, thank you, Captain Honorable Matanka and your team. And I speak loud, my son Brian, Wakili Kairaria, Ndumbo, and everybody else. For what you have done has never, do has never been done in Daraka. This was a record of its own, and that is why Dr. here holds the records. The first one being a medical doctor. He was the first one in Daraka. And today, we have almost given him a record, a record send off because of the will of the people of Daraka, the will of the people of Kenya, and everybody else. Nikimali is here. Dr. Alikwana Maono Yaki. Tafadhali. Wacha tutimize yao Maono Yaki. I single out one. Kwa sababu just before he passed on, mimi niliongea na yeye, alikuwa rafi yangu, nika muambia, hapa kwake, hapo tunaenda. There is an upcoming secondary school called Kamuyoa. We have set a harambe for the 21st of May, and you are going to be one of my guests. He told me, 100% I'll be there. Sasa, ili tutimiza yao maono yake. May I take this opportunity to welcome all the leaders who actually are French. They also have respect and order for doctor. Let us make Kamuoyo Secondary School one of the best institutions in the country in the honor of Dr. Jeff Muche. Because that is his home secondary school. As I work on Materi, sorry, Meru Boys Home, which is here, so that we renovate it, we make it an ultra modern secondary school, we have also to do a secondary where our children can go to. So I'm going to invite all of you, I'm going to talk to you individually, so that you join me on the 21st of May, so that we build that school. And even my friend JF, I will invite you. You cannot just announce here, you want to be MP. We must see your action. Put into practice. We must see you building schools. We must see you doing public duty so that we recognize that you have the capacity to lead the people of Taraka. Otherwise, Taraka is safe in the hands of Gigi. Still have another couple of years to do. And I can assure you, 2022, we will be together. My people, thank you very much. God bless you. We to invite
Thank you very much. Sorry, I've just been requested very well. And I'm happy. Asante sana. Nimeambiwa kabla sijaita wale viongozi wengine nikisimama hapa eh Vice Chancellor wa KCA University hapo hapa. Professor Isaiah Kindeke. I'm sorry we broke the protocol a little bit but forgive me because this is also another great son of the Raka whom we must honor at all times and especially a great friend of Dr. Believe you me, we were schooling together with Isaiah and Dr. So, etuko pamoja kabisa and let him just give his condolences before I invite the other leaders. Boya mwishimu. Eh, wambole saji bonde, baraba ajiriyantu wa yemde, niko bukethi ya buinde, buwana asifiwe. Buwana asifiwe tena. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Isaiah Wakindiki. As I've just rightly been introduced, I'm the Vice Chancellor at KCA University in Nairobi. At the same time, I chair the Council of Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga University of Science and Technology, which is in Bondo. And that connects me so much to my late friend, Jeff. Mwesimua mesema tumesoma pamoja. Yes, it's a lot of useful things we have done together. But it was on 29th of January this year, I had just finished a council meeting in Ibondo and I took the 7 o'clock flight, arriving at the airport around 8 o'clock. Then Francis calls me, the chairman of this occasion, he tells me to go to his house in Karen. Well, I told him, man, this is too late. I can't make it. And then he tells me, okay, it's not even me who wants you here. He hands over the phone to a Mr. X. It was Jeff. And Jeff invites me, tells me whether it is curfew, whether it is just come, I'm the one calling you. As if it was divine intervention, I went there. We were celebrating our brother's birthday together with other colleagues, other friends. We left that place around midnight inside the cafe. That was my last meeting and my last meal with Jeff. I mourn my friend, fare thee well, and I wish there is a way of reporting where he is, of telling us. But we, the people of Baraka, we believe in ancestors. He has joined our ancestors. May they intercede for us. Thank you so much, uh, Mwesimiwa. Thank you. And then God bless all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Professor. And the Professor, we wish you well as we actually say goodbye to our friend. I have Sawa sasa ndero mbali na kitharaka na untuwa mantu mama mwisho nda weta. Na untu daktari, amongst other things, na renda sekondari ila yetu ya kamu uyewe mwono mwono mwono. Na kusemo kweli, nde promise na mwujumbo atharaka. Tuka miruda yebuye, tuke mwe shima reyake. Tariki 21, mweri wetano, anene bangu weta avo onde, nko badokia, to the arambe, CDF ni hakita kirachi kiambere, ito waka kengene, ito kwenda waka kia tu. Koko ungeanto baka akwago, ibu daktari ya mbeiraga, wana buka to tia kanonto mbeche chedrikali, vio mbeche chedrikali, tiga neto nini mono. Kato wake ni muankara tu kakinya. Thank you very much. Now my honor, the privilege and pleasure to invite the woman representative, the woman member of parliament for the Rakanifi County, Mama Beatrice Nkava, to come and give her condolences. Thank you. Karibu Manda. Thank you, thank you, Mwishima Murugara. Watoto wa Jeff, familia ya Jeff, marafiki wa Jeff, wageni wetu kutoka mbali na kutoka kalibu, wanaitu asiwe. Praise God. God is good. 
thank you so much sasa niseme ni asante kwa hiyo nafasi niseme pole sana kwa familia ya Jeff Jeff ameenda lakini alikuwa amefanya kazi yake na si kazi mzuri tuendelee kuombea the wife ambaye amelala hospitali ndiye arudi kuangalia watoto yake ndiye aendelee kuchunga familia ya Jeff Catherine atakuwa mama and the father at the same time na hiyo responsibility zote Jeff alikuwa naye i'm sure Catherine ataweza Jeff ni kijana yetu ambaye tulikuwa tunampenda na ni kijana amefanya kazi mzuri He has mentored many He has educated many He has assisted many lakini yoyote ni sisi sasa we are going to take over kama viongozi kama marafiki brothers and sisters ndio ile kazi alikuwa amepanga iendelee amesaidia watoto wetu sana hapa Tharakani County na hata Kenya yote ni kijana alikuwa amejitolea kimafikiria kimpango na kila kitu tuko na uzuni lakini hatuna swali na hatuwezi uliza Mungu kwa nini Jeff why not somebody else hatuwezi uliza swali kama hiyo tunasema Mungu ni asanti kwa hiyo ni miaka ametupatia na Jeff hata ingawa kuna mwingine angesema hata kuna mtu akona miaka 70 80 na hajaenda hata wa mwaka mmoja hata wa mezi hata wa masaa huwa anaenda na hiyo ni mipango hatuwezi pindua kwa hiyo mimi nikiwa mama county nasema tutaendelea ile mheshimiwa kitonga amesema kile mpango Jeff alikuwa ameweka asaya education wale wananijua wanajua mimi napenda kusaidia elimu ya Tharakanithi County maana elimu ndio kila kitu mheshimiwa tutasaidiana na nimesikia kuna hospitali pia bwana Francis Matanga akiwa pale na wale viongozi wengine wote hiyo ni plani ambaye itainua Kenya na Tharakanithi County kwa hivyo sisi tuko na ile mpango alikuwa naye kusomesha watoto wake hasa mimi nikiwa mama county we are going to make sure watoto wa Jeff wataendelea na wafike mahali angependa wafike leo sio siku ya siasa ni kusema poleni sana tuko pamoja lakini nikimalizia niseme hivi antevetu mlimo uliku saa hii sisi tumefunga mbunge for one month leo hii kuna mheshimiwa anazikwa kule Kiambu kwa sababu ya ugonjwa wa covid 19 jichunge na uchunge ule mwingine oka mkono kila wakati weka mask na saa hii asa watoto wako nyumbani asia libeto na ile yenyana beto tafadhali hii wakati wako nyumbani hatutaki kusikia wachana wakirudi nyumba shule wanarudi wakiwa wawili wale wengine wamepotea vijana warudi shule wamepotelea tujui ni wapi kwa hivyo mzazi tafadhali take your responsibility jua mtoto yako ameshinda wapi amekuwa wapi mpaka hii wakati ya ugonjwa itaisha mheshimiwa tuko na wewe tutasaidiana tuinue Tharakanithi county tuinue Kenya pamoja na Mungu atawatabariki wale wageni wetu wametoka mbali we really appreciate you wale wametoka other counties tunasema ni asanti kuja kulia na familia ya Jeff kulia na sisi and we say thanks so much kaya boradhime abocha mount omega na tharakanithi tunapenda wageni may god grant you jane masses we love you so much kaya boradhime mimi niko naendelea na kazi yangu mwangalera tubadhara kanithiwa kauga na 2022 ndo aku thank you so much asante 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 mama county thank you very much asante pia kwa kusema 21 of may takuwa kama huyo secondary school which is very important kwa vile hao wananchi wanatongojea sasa wacha ni mwalike deputy governor wa Tharakanithi county muheshimiwa Kagwema Francis Nyamo Kagwema mzee wetu wa kijiji hapa wa county hapa amefanya mambo mengi na kila wakati tunamtambua 
So karibu mheshimiwa, upeane rambi rambi zako. Asante. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Uh, kwa familia ya yeah, Geoffrey Mose na mbiga family ya baba na mama yake na the mbiga family of Saraka and the bigger family of Kenya um, na natambua uh, ule ambaye amekuja kutongoza kwa uh, maombi ya leo Mheshimiwa Chairman um, wa kamati ambayo ilikuwa na Nairobi bwana uh, Matanka uh, Yesu our women MP Beatrice Ngaza of course na kutambua mheshimiwa mjumbe wa Tharaka na viongozi wengine wale wote ingawa hata candidate JM tumekuzikia na wale wote wanataka kuo kuombea viti ya MCAs whoever is here tunawatambua otherwise kwa niaba yangu mwenyewe na familia wote naweza kuwakilisha hata county government ya ya dharaka nidhi na sikuwa fursa hii kusema polen sana kwa zote wa Kenya kwa jumla kwa kumpotesa Geoffrey Musee daktari kijana wetu ambaye tulikuwa tunampenda hata hivyo anaendelea kulala hapo bandu na familia tunampenda pole na tuko pamoja wiki hii na last week tumepata pigo kubwa sana we have lost very important people as a community mpaka as leaders uh, to kasindo ya kufanya uh, a few days ago tulikuwa hapa tunamwaga mwalimu mtiga alikuwa kilisi ya kakufa tuka maombi hapa njana tulikuwa na maombi kule Kanamuzi na hivyo na hivyo na kulikuwa eh, kule tulimatwaero among others lakini siku ya leo twakujana tena kumwaga kwa heri dr muse na mimi nisija nikajaribu kueleze anything good that has been said siku tumeongea vizuri nimesikia from the kenyan fraternity how good he has been i would only probably say ya kwamba what you have said about muse ni ya kweli because nilijua daktari miaka mingi nimujua wakati aliingia university si ati mimi nilikuwa university lakini nilikuwa patron ya Tharaka University Students Association that time na nikiwa mjumbe na i can remember i knew him as a very good person and from the time i met him all the other times i met him alikuwa anaendelea kuwa mtu wa kupenda wengine wa kupenda progression Uh, ile to my consolation ni among others mheshimiwa umeji committee ya kwamba utaendelea pamoja na sisi kwa kisha ya kwamba familia na watoto wamepata usaidizi ya marafiki wa baba yao daktari i want to commit myself whenever you call me whenever bana chairman calls me i'll be available even in niulise ya kwamba bana chairman kamiti usivunje for now we might require another round because uh, we are getting relief ya kwamba bibi yake anaendelea kupata nafuu na asija akakuwa mo hospitali sababu ya mbiru na siko kwa hivyo we can do another round eh uh, bwana chairman we are preparing for another round to make sure that kadri relief hospital a happy person without a burden that as a leadership we are committing ourselves and this a lot of kenyans who will be able to assist you bana chama usibebe muziko na familia ukiwa peke yako tumeendelea hivyo na mungu aendelee kuwa na sisi because bana um, mp nimesema bila mesema but i'm also encourage the sister the sister who spoke here hata kama at the end of it nguvu iliendelea kuisha I am also happy to hear from a member of the family that commitment ya kwamba whatever the brother whatever Dr. Musa wanted to do that you try to take over to wear the shoes of Dr. Ali. Madam, we want to encourage you we will be there with you. We will work together. I know politicians come and say we will come but this is for sure. 
because the committee is going to be there to monitor us, to call us, to coordinate. Bwana Kiambi, and then I could coordinate. There are many other people who are saying what I'm saying, so we work together. Uh, otherwise, in terms of your school, Kamoyua, Kamoyua Secondary School, we work together. I'll be there on 21st. Uh, this is uh, Kamoyua at Trokukitonga Secondary School. We honor you with that because uh, 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 the school will also get us other than Dr. Muse. Uh, finally, Niseme ya kwamba tuendelee na umoja tukiwa community. Ya tharaka, ya tharaka nidi, especially so that uh, tuendelee kusaidiana. Na muisho, tungepata, daktari tumekuja hapa, tukomboleza mamba ya hospitali, bile daktari, sinai, na the rest. Lakini, I wanted somebody, a daktari kutuambia how we live in the new normal all of uh, corona this this ugonjwa ya 19 ambaye imeleta confusion aina mtoto aina daktari aina professor aina muse it doesn't it is not able to choose so we need to start learning whether in terms of diet or in terms of living we need to start because we are told some conclusions and the rest i think we need uh, those in the medical fraternity we need to start revising and maybe uh, advising people, even at home, because very soon our hospitals might get full. We need to know how to take care of our people, the patients, at home. So I stop here, but otherwise, once again, thank you so much. Wale watu wa mekuja, munakalibiswa, tuashukuru sana, maali bopote mukirudi, mupereke salamu zetu, na upendo wetu kwa bile mumekuja kutufariji. Asante mungu wa baliki, mungu wa mulase daktari maripema pepona. Asante sana, asante mwishmua kagwema, asante viongozi wetu, kama vile tumeahidi ya tujaongea siyasa, kwa kitaka siyasa utatengeneza meeting yako, le likuwa siku ya Dr. Mbuse, na tume actually eh, given him a warm send off, ili ya pumzike, alale, na sisi tuendele, mpaka siku yetu ifike. Thank you very much MC. Thank you to the visitors who have come from wherever, Nairobi, KC, uh, Makweni, and everywhere. We love you, and we wish you a very safe journey back to where you came from. God bless all of you, and may Dr. Muse rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, our Honorable Member of Parliament, uh, Honorable Jinji Gitonga Murugara, for that uh, speech that has been devoid of politics. And to better Bukwana, Anasiasa Betu, Nantu Vega, but yet in the Turatra Siasa, Untemus is into Asiasa. No, can you put to Tara, Bakarium, but to a Turin Berema, Natara Merano Batara, and the Kumano Monday Waga, another Missouri Swail Marimatom going to Comenia. Er, I'll carry a Swail Monoban. Eh, and they, oh, Pasta, Tafadali, we are very sorry for taking your time, but now it's you. Sasa ni wewe baba, karibu sana. Kwa hivyo ntu beto, kato nengkere ni pasta, kanyaka akeno we, atuwire agu. Tuare eke na pasta, tutienda toinge tukaria, tukazi na ara mwishi, anto waraba kazi mwishi, tuwe ruiva au. Tuwe ruiva raba, bada etire mwere, tuwe ruane baeze, baeze ba mdagete, ana vake, na aru agina vake, na meemusi, na kametere ya Nairobi. Baubo wanka baba kazi wa mwishi. Baraba ange ba kazi wa mwishi, ebi obu ingebe tukwa ka, and uh, Bokarum Wakanyamu. Doctor, oh, uh, Pasta, Karbusana. Asanti Sana, Kwa Sasa Kabla Pasta, Kuja to Taimba, Takutumai Nisina, it's in your program. Takutu maini sina ila damu ya kebana sina wema kutosha. Tafadhali tusimame, tafadhali tusimame ni kanisani. Tuko. Dami zangu kuziosha kwa ke yesu na simama. Ndiye mamba ni salama, ndiye mamba ni salama. Die mwamba ni salama, 
Damu ya kena sadaka na tege me ya daima yote chini ya kisha mokozi ananitosha kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawimbi akinipiga nguvu zake ndizo nanga kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama nikiita hukumuni rohoni nikivi kwa haki yake sina hofu mbele zake kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama Okay let's pray Father in the name of Jesus we come before your throne of mercy we indeed acknowledge that you are our rock and our refuge you are our hope O oh God and your name is a strong tower and when we're in trouble we can run to it and find safety and this afternoon as we as we listen to your word O oh Jehovah Lord we ask for your presence to come in our midst and we pray that your word O oh Jehovah Lord will speak to us O oh God even in those areas in our lives that Jehovah Lord we might be needing encouragement where we might be needing um, answers to many questions of God and we pray that your presence may manifest in this place we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus amen Asante thank you uh, sister uh, Janet um neza kiti mahali mulipo I'd like to uh, take this opportunity Uh, to request uh, our brother Henry and uh, and Peter uh, to help us uh, with uh, uh, any contribution. Uh, apologies, just in case the service may not have flowed the way you are used to. We are running out because we are living in very special times, and we will have to rush and do with what is available. Uh, at this very moment kwa hivyo wakati huu if you have something that you would want to give i would like to reiterate that whatever you will give uh, will be going to the family as it is our practice uh, as a church in Sitam uh, we the church we the pastors do not take a dime or a penny kwa hivyo yote tungependa kupeana uh, kwa familia so that they can be able to offset some of the uh, needs that are at hand kwa hivyo kama uko hapa na ungetaka kutoa uh, sijui mc watu watapeleka wapi asante sana pasta na askiri watu wa familia ama kuna mtu wako na mbali tunaweza weka tuwe inaletwa inaletwa kwa hivyo tunaweza ongezwa kidogo iletwe as fast it is as fast as it is possible please ni wakati wa pole ni wakati wa pole wale ambao kuweza kutumana ama kufanya lolote ni wakati huu ili tusaidie kufut hizo dates ziko okay kwa hivyo nitapeana tu dakika tatu peke yake i'll have ask i'll ask the uh, media team to play some music if possible just three minutes and uh, ningependa kuwaomba if you did not have an opportunity kama hauko na nafasi ya kupeana uh, kwa familia tafadhali mahali ulipo njoo this is a special season atuelezi leta hii bag mahali ulipo 
uh, just to observe all COVID-19 protocols. So ngependa kuomba uh, tuweze kuleta. Media team. The father is to wear a good save time. Piana Polezako. Okay, tafadhali tuko na kikapu kingine upande huu tunaweza weka ama upande ule to avoid congestion. Tafadhali. Asante, asante, asante. Uh, Komajina ni Bishop Karanja. Uh, I serve with uh, Christ is uh, the Answer Ministries, uh, senior pastor in one of our uh, international churches in Romania. And uh, here in Kenya, I, I'm domiciled. I'm an inakwana wachungaji pale Clay City. Na pia tunawakiliana na wachungaji uh, wale ambao kupale Sitam Woodley. So I come to us on behalf of uh, Sitam uh, Woodley and especially in regards to our sister Catherine and the children Poleni Sana. My heartfelt uh, condolences to you as a family and also on behalf of the church and the body uh, of Christ where the family fellowships Poleni Sana. We would have loved to be more. Thank you. We would have loved to be more than uh, what we are here, but simply because of the restrictions, uh, it is in order that myself and Sister Janet uh, are the only ones who have come. But I get to know uh, that we have some of us here from uh, Sitam who fellowship. Uh, in our various assemblies uh, across. I take this time also just to appreciate Henry and uh, uh, my brother Peter. I know it's not an easy thing to be an MC, and they really get appreciated. So I'd like to say Asanteni Sana Kwa Kutuongoza. We are living in very special times, and that is why I was very keen to mention to them that we need to be keen with time because I stand here on behalf of SITAM and as a church, as a ministry, uh, we believe in honoring the law. We believe in honoring the agreed uh, Ministry of Health protocols that have been communicated to us. And we would like to ensure that we uphold, uh, by all means, uh, the protocols that are in place for your safety, for my safety, and for the safety of everyone else. So my time here is going to be very brief. Uh, simply because I believe in observing uh, the laws that are in place. 
I take this time just to also appreciate uh, all those who have spoken, all those who have taken time just to condole with the family, and all those who have worked behind the scenes led by uh, our brother Francis, and everyone else who was engaged in one way or the other, may the Lord refresh you, even as you've taken time to refresh the family, especially at these trying times and moments. We are living in a very unique time when, as one of us mentioned, that indeed death is not a respecter of persons. In this season we are in, and that is why I'm even around here, is simply because we have a disease that is raging the lives of many. And that means that indeed it is important for us to take care of ourselves, but also get to ask ourselves very important and critical questions in this season. In one way or the other, you have been affected. Just the other day, I was unwell. And the time when the leave was given to take the job, the vaccine, as young as I am, even though I, once in a while, I exercise because I believe there's a very thin line between faith and foolishness. Health is our responsibility. Your body is your responsibility. I was unwell. And I sat and I began looking around and realized that in the times and in the age we're living in, if you and I are not keen on asking ourselves, how are we living? Or how is our lives? We just don't know what tomorrow holds for us. And especially to the children and the family. We were just discussing with uh, Dr. Mutio, and thank you so much for uh, your words of of, of encouragement and comfort, we were saying, you know, I wish God would come and meet us and talk to us. We go to Nanana Yakwamba, Tungefurahia, Kama Mungu Angekua na Kuja na Tuzungumza Nasi, Anatuuliza Je, Unaonaje, Kuhusu Hile Jambo. I remember one time many years ago when the news reached me that my own father, had passed on later on, my mom passed on, and we were still children. And because I had been nurtured and trained in the ways of God, my father was a man of God, and if there's something that I always treasure and celebrate every single day of my life, is what he left in us. Because at times in life, it's not what you leave for people or your children that matter, it is what you leave them that actually counts. So he left me God. He left us God. Nurtured us in the ways of God. But he fell sick and within a week's time, he was normal. He passed away in the U.S. And it was a very, very difficult news for myself and the siblings. And I remember one of the things I purposed in my heart is that I will not ask God why did you allow this to happen? Why did you allow this thing to take place at such a time as this when I'm growing up? I know for the family and especially the children, we might be asking ourselves, so what does tomorrow hold for us? How does the world look like without a father? How does the world look like without a man who, looked, who you looked up to? who cared for you, who provided for you. And as young as I was, I thank God because up to date, I appreciate this fact that God came and placed this word in my heart that I, as God, I am not moved. You see, today, you can have work and tomorrow it is no more. You can have a business. We had a family business, but one day, one time, it was no more. You can have education. You can have resources today. But tomorrow, it can be no more. But one thing I admire about God is that God is not like the resources we have around. Resources can come today, and tomorrow, they are no more. Parents are resources. Spouses 
husbands, wives, children are resources that the Lord has blessed us with. Resources can move, but God remains to be the source. And if there is something I would want the family, and especially the children, and those who are close to Dr. Muse, is simply this, that resources can be removed, but God remains to be the source. I am reminded of this man called David, who is renowned to have written a bigger portion of the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms are 150 books in total, and is renowned to have written 72 in total of them. And in the first, op- first book that runs, basically the first, what is regarded as book number one that runs from uh, chapter 3 all the way to chapter 42 of the book of Psalms, specifically he came and he wrote Psalms 23. Now you and I may not really be able to figure out what was happening in the life of this man called David. But there was something that David had learned over time was that of a shepherd and that of being a sheep. And he comes and he says these amazing words in the book of Psalms, chapter 23, verses 1, all the way to verse 6. This is what the scripture reads. Psalm 23, verse 1 says this. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a reflection. What words from a man who was an experienced shepherd. David sits and looks at his life, looks at the years that he had served taking care of the sheep, and he likens that to how God sees us. Allow me to mention this to us and especially to the family, that God is your shepherd. Catherine, God is your shepherd. And he comes and he opens it up that specific chapter, by mentioning amazing words, that the Lord is my shepherd. I will lack nothing good. The Lord is my shepherd. I will lack nothing good. At times when we lose loved ones in our lives, at times when resources are no more in our lives, I'm here to remind you that yes, resources can move, Yes, resources can be there and tomorrow they are no more. But God remains to be your shepherd. I have witnessed with my eyes and I myself standing here as a testimony that when you choose to fix your eyes on God, when you choose to live with the reality that in as much as a lot may happen around us, as the psalmist says, that there comes a time when we will walk through the darkest valley There comes a time when we will face challenges and things that seem like nightmare in our lives. If there is one truth that I would like to remind us this very afternoon is that God remains to be your shepherd. One of the images I grew up seeing was that of a shepherd carrying a sheep on his shoulders. I know most of us have seen that photo. The shepherds we see here in Africa are very interesting, even around us. If you notice properly, they walk behind the animals, hitting them with stones and, sh- and, and, and sticks, isn't it? But in the east, where this specific exercise and, and lifestyle is renowned, and, and the Bible refers to, because many scriptures refer to this analogy of the shepherd, 
there comes a time when you would find the shepherd carrying the sheep on his shoulders. And I'm sure some of us have seen that, isn't it? Ongapi wameona hiyo, sindiyo? Kuna picha tumeona inafahi, inakaa hivyo. A shepherd, yani mchungaji, anabeba kondo, sindiyo? Kwa mabega. Now what I came to realize is this, that the reason that the sheep would be on the shoulders of the shepherd was very intentional. The shepherd at one point in his interaction with the sheep, he would notice a sheep that would not listen to him. He would notice a sheep that would be running all over and simply getting lost and even deceiving the rest of the sheep. And what the shepherds in the eastern part of, of, of Asia would do was this. They would get the sheep and break one of its legs. When the sheep was broken, it no longer enjoyed the freedom of running around or doing whatever it desired. And what would happen for the next following weeks is that that sheep would depend upon the shepherd to, to be fed, to find pasture, and to also find something to drink, even to find a suitable place to sleep. And the shepherd would do that intentionally. So he would realize that he has a sheep that is astray, and he will break its leg, and every time they would need to move, he would have to carry it and place it on his shoulders. And folks, this is what I see. That there comes a time when God looks at us and realizes something needs to be broken in us. It is a painful experience. It is a difficult experience to go through. But here is the thing. That when we choose to allow God to lead us, our lives will not remain the same again. If there is something that God would want you and I to do, is to depend on him fully. I love the words in the book of Psalm 100 verses 3. It says this, that we are his people, the pasture of his flock. And in Psalm 78, he comes and he says that we, like sheep that belong to him, God led the children of Israel into the wilderness, but he guided them and led them. Psalm 40, verses 11, talks about how God comes and he says, as a shepherd tends his flock, so does God take care of his own sheep. I'm here just to mention to the family and to all of us gathered here today that God is the true shepherd. In your own time, go and read from the book of John chapter 10. Again, Jesus in the seven I am intentionally and strategically comes to talk about the analogy of the shepherd. And he comes and he says, I am the good shepherd. As the shepherd lays down his life for him, so lays his life for the sake of the sheep, so do I lay my life down for the sake of my people. We are in the season of Easter. And 2,000 years ago, over 2,000 years ago, Jesus went on the cross for your sake and my sake. Jesus became what you are so that you and I could become what he is. You and I can stand before God, accepted. Our brother, Dr. Muse has finished his race. But the question is, how about your life? Where are you today? If there is something that God would desire, just as he expounded in the book of John chapter 10, as he was talking to the crowds and telling them that I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd knows the sheep, and the sheep know his voice. It is said that, you know, when, when, when the shepherds in the east would take the animals, they did not bother, you know, to put boundaries around the animals. All of the sheep will be together. But when it was time to move, the shepherd would make a voice and the sheep would know that is our shepherd. That is our leader. And all the animals would stand up wherever they were and they would follow because the sheep recognized the voice of the shepherd. I am here just to mention to us and to encourage us that may we be men and women who will choose to hear the voice of the shepherd. Because God loves you. And in the same way that God, as the same way a shepherd takes care of the sheep, likewise, God would desire to take care of you. Two things that I believe 
I would want us to go home with this very day is that number one, depend on God. Depend on God. That is the message that David was communicating in this passage of scripture. Be a man and a woman who depends on God. And number two, dwell in the house of the Lord. He comes and he finishes that chapter, uh, chapter 23 of the book of Psalms, and he says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May it be men and women who will depend on God, who will live our lives knowing that without God, we are nothing. The reality of life is this, folks, that even though we are here, we are here just for a short period of time. I had, and lying in front of us, with all sincerity, once upon a time was a tree, a tree in a forest somewhere. Now, none of us knew that the tree and this amazing coffin that we are seeing with our own eyes would be the one to escort Dr. Muse out of this place. One of the key things every now and again I have to tell myself, because we pastors find ourselves in, 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 in such engagements every now and again, and especially in this COVID season that has been quite difficult for us on a weekly basis, as one of us mentioned, the reality of this life we're living is this. There is a tree for every one of us seated here. There is a tree. Where the tree is, I do not know. Where my tree is, where my piece of timber or wood is, I do not know. We don't know if it is with the carpenters. We don't know if it is being fallen right down by machines and being loaded on a truck. We don't know if that tree has even been planted. And as a man once said, live your life as if you will live forever. Plan your life, sorry, as if you will live forever. But live it as if you will die the very next minute or the very next moment. And at this moment and hour, I'd like you to look at your life as I bring this message to conclusion. Where is your life? How is your relationship with God? What do you think God will say concerning your life? What do you think God would say concerning your future? What do you think God would say concerning your past? I believe in such moments, in such times, it is a wake-up call for us to realize that a time comes when you and I have to bid this life goodbye. I live my life in such a way and in such a manner that I am ready. I am ready because I know one thing. As Paul declared in the book of Philippians chapter 4, that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Paul says, for me to be around in this life that I'm living in, it's about Christ. But if I die, it is still gain. Why? When we die, we have an opportunity to be with God. We have an opportunity to be with Jesus. So does what I'm sharing this very afternoon make sense to you? What choice will you make as you reflect on your own life? Lying before us is a man we love, a family member, a friend, a colleague, a loved one, but his race is done. His race is finished. Yours is still on. Your track is still open. The question is this. What are you doing concerning your life? What are you doing concerning the choice that God is giving to you? Today, even as we celebrate and commemorate the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, that specific action, having been done just for you, you have an opportunity to go to be where Christ is. You have an opportunity to receive and to accept that which Jesus Christ placed and, 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 and did for you and I. Because for us to be where God is, it has to take Christ in our lives. The only person who can meet the righteous standard of God is God himself. Good deeds are good, but they cannot earn us a place in the kingdom of God. The righteousness of God can only be met by God himself. 
And that is why Jesus Christ came and died on the cross, replacing and standing on the gap for you and I, so that when we have Christ, and when God looks at you and I, he sees God in us. He sees Christ in us. He sees his righteousness in us. And that is how you and I can be accepted into his kingdom. Today, you can leave this place saying, I know where I belong. I know where I am headed. If something happened to me today, I know where I am headed. Because time and chance happens to all of us. And for the family, just as I've mentioned, God is still in his throne. He is still the source. Resources will move. Resources will change. But God remains to be the source. Dwell in the Lord. Depend on him. And you will see him carry you through your entire life. Let me invite us to close our eyes, whatever we are. Let's all stand up on our feet. And I want you just to take a minute and talk to God. I will not call you here in front because of time and because of our specific context that we are in. But I'd like you just to go ahead and talk to God right where you are. God hears. God listens. Go ahead and talk to him. I don't know what you desire in your life or the decision you want to make at this moment and hour. But God is here and is able to do it in your life and over your life at this moment and at this hour. Just take a minute and whisper something to God. God who loves you. God who created you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Our Father, we are grateful. We are grateful that we are reminded of this amazing truth. Just reflecting on our brother, his life, we say thank you. Thank you for the time you gave us And we are grateful for the resources you blessed him with. We are grateful for the wisdom, Lord, and every blessing you bestowed upon him. But the time came for you, Lord, to take him away. And now, Lord, we have many among us here. We ask that, Lord, help us. Help that even as the days are going by, as the clock is ticking, that indeed, Father, We will not live our lives in the way that the world desires. But rather, we will live our lives in the way that you desire. Help us, Father, to live with a sense of eternity in view. That when you look at our lives, we will realize that we are here just for a moment. As a flower blossoms one day, and tomorrow it is no more. I pray that, Lord, you will help me. You will help every single one of us to be able to live to you and do that which you desire of our lives. I pray for any man, any woman who has made a commitment wherever they are. May you strengthen them and may you be with them. May you reveal yourself to them. That we live to know you more and experience the power of your resurrection in their lives. We believe at this moment and hour that you are the good shepherd in our lives, and we shall lack nothing good. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. As we are standing, allow me just to uh, invite the family, the children, uh, the brothers and sisters, please, if you can come and join me uh, right here and uh, surround the, uh, the casket, please. Please come. Please come. But I can also have the the parents, Wazazi, Gependa Kuomba Mweze Kuja, Ilit Pate Kuombea. And I'm sorry that I had not or rather did not recognize the pastors or the men of God among us. If you're there, you're a pastor, you're an elder, please come and surround the family. Uh, just bear with me because of the interest of time. Would have loved to have us say a word, but at this moment, please come and identify with the family 
So if you're there kama uko mahali pale wewe ni mtumishi wewe ni mchungaji ningependa kukuomba uje asanteni sana and just uh, surround and stand with the family so that we can pray uh, for this team that God will strengthen them and be with them so if you're here kama wewe ni mchungaji tafadhali njo uh, i know we are not allowed to hold people but right where you are you can stretch your hand you can come here and just stretch your hand asanteni sana watumishi wa mungu just stretch your hand and we can be able to uh, to pray uh, pastor joseph will commit the family to the lord and in case you're there also and you have a relationship with God, just stretch your hand towards this family that the Lord will establish them and strengthen them uh, in this season uh, in Jesus' name. Tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, asante kwa siku ya leo bwana. Asante kwa maisha ya daktari ambayo umetupatia yeye kuishi hapa duniani. Asante kwa familia yake. Asante kwa kila mmoja ndani ya jamii bwana. Naomba baba ukapate kuwabariki. Baba warinde waokoe na yule muovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba tunakushukuru kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya. Baba Mungu ukapate kubariki Kenya. Kila mmoja ambaye amehudhuria kwa haya mazishi. Baba Mungu kawe pamoja naye tutakapo kuwa tunarudi manyumbani kila safari baba ikarindwe na wewe bariki jamii bariki kila mmoja anahitanishwa na hii jamii baba tunawainua mikononi mwako mama mwenye jamii baba jiziki mahali ambapo wako baba Mungu lituma neno lako ikapate kutuponya yule mama mahali aliko baba neno lako la uponyaji tunaliachilia tunaomba uponyaji tunaomba nguvu za kumweka huru katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaondoa kila maumivu katika mwili wake tunaamuru akapone katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba tia yule mama nguvu pamoja na familia yake katika jina la Yesu muokoe na yule muovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba tunaomba pia tunaamini kanisa liseme amen bwana wabariki asante mchungaji uh, Joseph Nashukuru sana na wachungaji wale ambao wameweza kuja asanteni sana na tumaini tutakapokuwa tunaenda kwa kwa grave pale kwa grave site tutakuwa uh, pamoja uh, asanteni sana So wakati huu ningependa kuomba tuweze kuketi please let's all be seated uh, wherever we are uh, at this moment just before we get to hear the vote of thanks very briefly tutaondoka na jinsi ambayo tutaondoka uh, we will uh, begin with uh, the pastors wacha ni waombe wasimame mahali walipo you know it is good to give honor where it is meant to be please stand kama wewe ni pastor just stand just stand uh, i can see my brother from the salvation army wasimame tu mahali walipo wapungue uh, just wave at them just wave just wave asanteni sana asanteni sana mnaweza keti so we will be led uh, with uh, the clergy ili tu uh, tuweke uh, tuweke jeneza kwa hile gari lakini for that for that step i think since the vehicle can come here uh, we don't have to do that but once tukifika pale nyumbani uh, tutaongozwa na clergy alafu baada ya clergy the family will follow right from where the hearse will be and we will head to uh, the great site. Our sister uh, Janet, I believe, will be leading us at that place uh, as we head down. And I'm made to understand that due to the uh, protocols in place, as I mentioned as a church, we respect the stand of the Ministry of Health protocols. And since Sitam is overseeing this specific occasion, we would kindly request that we adhere to the safety maximum number of people so that we can keep each other safe. For those who will be left here, 
uh, we are grateful that you came to console the family, and we pray that God will continue comforting every single one of you. God bless you. Okay, thanks a lot, Pastor. I think we are through with the sermon now. We are to proceed home, but but before we do that, we have to have vote of thanks. Can I have Raphael, please, to come and give vote of thanks? Thereafter, I will direct you on what to do. Raphael, please, let us save time. And it's good that we are within the program. We are supposed to leave this, this place around three. And if you check your watch, it's around that. So we are not badly off when we come to the program. Raphael, please, we know to save time. Okay, thanks a lot. He has come. Karibu. opportunity to really thank all of you that have come today and uh, those that have really contributed towards this waterfall. Wangu ni kusema asanteni sana na mwenyezi mungu awabariki sana. I really want to thank the committee both here at Kiduna, the one in Matsakuri and the one in Nairobi for the good work that they did. I also want to say some special thanks to Jose Mokiri, all the way from Kitui, to come and send off the grandchild, the parents, and every other person that really contributed to this. Secondly, I would want to say a lot of thanks to each and every person that has found time just to be here. Let me say this. I was called to give this vote of thanks, but I believe that this should have been given by the family of Jose. So I want to call upon that particular person from the Jose's family that was to give this particular vote of thanks. Ningeipwa, lakini nasikia ingekuwa vizuri, ingekuwa familia ya Jose, ndiyo ingepatia hiyo jukumu. Kwa hivyo mimi ningemuita huyo representative of Kitu. Ndiyo wapatiani. Akikuja, I want to say thank you so much to a lot of people that have really given their heart out to ensure that uh, uh, function is a success. Asante ni sana. Okay. Uh, is he coming? coming? Is he coming? There's somebody from uh, oh, Musa's family. Oh, Yuko? Okay. Come on, Yuko, I think uh, then that, that is uh, the vote of... Is the one, eh? Ah, okay. That is the vote of thanks. I also want to thank my brother from Mombasa. Mahinda came all the way and he actually came a day two days before just to be here to ensure everything is a success. Thank you so much, Mahinda and, and the family and the chairman too and every other person. Thanks. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Mauricio Kanyaru. I'm speaking on behalf of Moses' family. And uh, I'll be very brief to appreciate a few of us uh, that did a great job, uh, starting with our Nairobi chair, Honorable Francis Chiambi. Matanka, we end lawyer Kairaria, we have people like Wakil Bryan, we end the committee from Masakiri, we end Dr. Musio, all the support that we got from all of you as a family of Dr. Muse, we appreciate and we pray to God that he blesses you in abundance, and we continue supporting one another emotionally, in material, and in prayer. We also continue praying for our sister and our hands to some of us, Catherine Muse, and to all the neighbors, the friends, 
We as the family say thank you very much. May God bless you and may you never lack. Thank you very much and God bless you. Okay, thanks. The family member was given a vote of thanks. We know we had consultants that's when you were given love help, but it's good that you have come and uh, given the vote of thanks. Now I want to give directives on what we shall do from here. We are going home. And those who are to go home are clergy, clergy, home bearers, so that after they have put the coffin inside the vehicle, they will go there so that they can get it out. Thereafter, we shall have the family members from both the signs, from both the signs. Get me correct here. Not Jeff's or family only, but from both the signs. Catherine, family, and Jeff's family. Uh, we have the VIPs. These are people who have gone up in positions. Then we have the friends from Nairobi, especially the E department and Akali. And we, when we go there, they are there to the COVID-19 protocols. Then the two of us, the MCs, will accompany them. So please, from here now, I will ask the, the vehicle to carry the casket to come nearer so that we have to do the necessary. So can I have the poor bearers, please, so that we organize or now we proceed home. And please let us add to that. And those who will be left here, we have the sawdust here and the loaves. So you will be fed from here, and thereafter you just walk to your home, please.
children wazazi tafadhali na naomba tuje hapa na yetu uh, Janet atatuongoza atatuongoza kwa kwa wimbo wale ambao wako kwa grade baada ya mwisho tuokoe Any pastor ready? Can you do As pastors, it's a poor mole, Kanisa, clergy, followed by the children. Yes. And the parents. Then the casket. Okay? Alafu wengine wote wote wanapenda kuomba tafadhali bado bado niendelee kwa sababu wote wao wote after after that we can be able to uh, to engage in other
Kwa hivyo nita soma neno I will read I will read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 uh, to 57. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to verses 57. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable. And we will be changed, for the imperishable must prove itself to the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has clothed, has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So at this moment, I will uh, request my pastor here just to mention uh, a prayer that we will sing as we have the uh, task at the end of our time. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of life that you have seen it good, Lord. That we listen to your word, and your word, you said your word is life. Your word cannot come out and go free. Your word is supposed to do something to somebody in this moment, Lord. Your servant has spoken right from you. 
This mm-hmm. is what you Lord you 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 you, 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 you gave to your servant when you wrote about God. the mystery. The Lord, we have to accomplish as your servants. Lord, as a family, we have accepted the going of our brother. We have accepted, we have accepted for the, the going of our father's children. And Lord, we have come down, Lord, to, to lay him, Lord, to the soil. Lord, let your servant, let your servant speak again, life to the people who are living. We want to give a life, Lord, to the living so that we can live a life that is eternal, Father. Because a relationship with you is not a perishing one. That's, Lord, what I'm calling upon you, Lord, to give us an opportunity to walk on with the hope that we have a relationship with you, a relationship with you that is a life eternal. In the name of Jesus, we pray, believe, and trust you.
this moment depend up to depend up familia, especially the uh, the children. They can get some soil. Just pick some soil. This is an exercise that helps with closure. So if you want to family here, please go ahead. If you're a brother, a sister, or in Zazi, please pick some soil. Pick some soil. Kama wewe ni ndugu najua utapata nafasi ya sote kutupa mchango but for now I want to give that priority to the siblings or if you near them you can just speak just speak soil family Aya. All right. Kwa hivyo, naweza tupa sote pamoja. You can go ahead. Waende kitu mtoto wangu mko polisi bali tamba. Kama kuna wengine, do we have uh, other family members kukona watu wa familia naomba mchukua tu mchanga ama wewe ni rafiki wewe ni kiongozi please go ahead go ahead go ahead uh, brother Ralph go Usiende mbali sana 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 usiende mbali sana lakini make sure we maintain distance mali ulipo na mwenzako Go ahead. This helps with closure as you bid goodbye to Mr. Geoffrey Muse. All right. So at this moment, uh, we are going to make a prayer. Then after this, the uh, tradition, but there is a different method they are going to handle it. Uh, I will be handing it over to the uh, to the moderators, uh, but they should be here with us. Please come. Uh, Ili Waweze, Ndugu Peter, Ndugu Henry, Ndugu Omukopale. These two gentlemen have been a blessing to us. Uh, Wateza Kuongoza, tuone which group will lay the ritz. Nanajua Mawa, Akaweka around. Sindio? Lafu Badai, those who are responsible to cover the place, they will. Uh, they will handle it uh, in that in that specific manner. So let me invite our pastor. He can also tell us his name. Pia kuna mchunga tu mengine? Okay. Then you can you can pray for us and pray for the family uh, as we bring this uh, specific service to an end officially. Praise the name of Jesus. My name is Benson. Uh, I want to say that the Lord will give a life to this people. Life is hope for better living. Close your eyes as we pray. Father, we begin with you. We have seen the closure with you, Lord. None of us has been affected by the tragedies 
of the road and the sicknesses of the, of the time, Lord. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for your protection. Lord, as I lift my hand, Lord, it's because this closure of the event was so successful, and it was under your control, Father. We are now going to live a new life, Lord, with you. And these children, Lord, as you have revealed to your servant, Lord, they will live on well. Lord, at this moment, you have revealed again to your servant that the, their mother will be uh, the, the, their leader now. She will wake up from the sick bed now, and she will move and get the strength of this of, the, of, of Dr. Jeff, and she will take the mantle of leading this family. Lord, there's a new chapter you're going to give her. And this chapter, Lord, because you are the leader, even the youngest, you will, they, will not be, they will not be shaken because you will give them an insight of how to take it, Lord. There is a dream that he started, Lord. You will uh, help them to live it on. And Father, there is no challenge which will come and fight your dream in him because his dream he has planted it in him. As servant of you, Lord, we have now, Lord, given this family to you, Lord. Nobody will come against this family and excel anymore. Father, I want to counsel every attack of the enemies who are standing now to take the position of this man who lived to protect his family. They will not do it because they are enemies. Lord, you will, you will be a lord of the, of the orphans. You will be a lord of the widow. Lord, I want to call upon your name that on this moment and onwards, you will be the, their leader. You will be the one to teach them what to do. We know that he was wise, but Lord, your wisdom surpasses the wisdom of books. Now you are going to bring it unto the two, three children. You will bring it to the mother, and Lord, they will be, live a new life, Father. I want to thank you for the tears will not be coming again. This family will live a longer life. I want to bless them with the blessings of Abraham, that you told him you will give, the, you will give him a life up to his age of old age. These children will live a long life. They will not die in their, in, the, in their premature times anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I want to thank you for the journey we are going to take on back to the city and to our respective places. Father, give us safety, protection, and let you guide us through. Thank you for the pastor. And thank you for the church and everybody who has contributed greatly to the success of this year. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
sasa wazazi wa kade Mimi ni kama wazazi wa daktari bado kupika eh, au kazi tunaona hapa wa kwa kid you kid na brother pale natazama mpiga picha Mheshimiwa Matanka jo hapa tafadhali ukifuatwa na wale wenzako madaktari watu walio hapa wakiongozwa na dr ho bran tafadhali Yule anko anko wa anko wa daktari na yule ndugu yake yule ndugu yake bibi ya daktari eh anko amekuja Ningo angalia huko ningo vile na sasa our friends from Mombasa our friends from Mombasa tukisema Mombasa ni kwale kilifu huko eh yeah, na nephews eh uh, you can wait just wait here mnaletewa just wait there just wait there mm. just wait there nephews Yaani wala wavulana wako hapo. Wala wavulana wanaosema daktari Jeff ni anko yake. Wavulana wanaosema wanaosema daktari Jeff ni anko yake wote waje. Asanteni sana. Kasi mtu wa Jeff na ni wengi hapa sana. Ndio. Ndio sawa. Nyewe <laughs>
Santa sana mama. Dada zake? Ndio au? Eh, wana kama ndio hawa. Brothers wa Jack, brothers wa Wakabe. Brothers wa Ket. Washapeleka. Oh, sawa. Sawa. Sister Zwake. Oh. Sidio, eh hey, wakabris. Eh. Hey. Eh hey, brother Zakabe. Eh. Eh babamo. Bye. Eh ono, oh you know. Ni ni na sape kai ni. Where that is it? Say. Panita. Ya upande wa Zabani. Ana watu wa Mbeta. Kanisa matakiri. Eh kila mzee ana anaabudu. Yaani nimeona hapa ni wengi. Bado kwa watu wa kanisa ba ndio ndio hao. Kila mtu bako ya bwinde ba ka ukiba ile baratu. Kuna mtoto wai. Ah sante ni kwanza hao hata wamevaa ile uniform yao. Kiena kanisa ni kwao utawakuta na hiyo. Wewe gani hapo ndio na ile ndio ndio bicha. wakili murongi wakili murongi wakili murongi wala you are please may you come over eh kama ayuko ah daktari alaba huyu eh jova huyu hata wakati nilikuwa kwa nimekuta huyu yes jova haya wewe Nilikuwa mjifika hapa mandapo. Nilikuwa kama dakika moja mbele kama mara mbili. Kuna mmoja anajua ni very close. Naitwa Samuel Nyaga. Anaitwa Nyaga. Eh, nyara wewe huyu. Eh. Baada hiyo sasa mpatie nyaga. Nyaga kichukua ni kama kama mtu amechukua. Uh, Ewe ngani sana asanteni sana for all that you've done for, for us pastor upon uh, the family and upon each and every one of us. Father, may all your grace abound towards us, abound towards the family, so that in all things and at all times they will have all that they need and that they will abound in every good work. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and grant you peace now and forevermore. I pray for all those who gave and who have stood with this family. The Lord bless you and increase your territories indeed. May his hand of protection be upon you and deliver every single one of you from evil. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 